Oh, you have a YouTube? Yeah, I have a Clips channel. Well, stream started. Hajime Mosh Tenshi, everybody. But yeah, I do. I've been putting up clips and shorts for some time. So I guess that... Sick nasty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh wait, hold on. Rarian grilled. That's nice. Are you in... Oh, dang, I'm in the wrong place. I need to get home before things Alright, so as long as you just walk away from that... Um, the oh. warp stone is going to be hard. Yeah, the warp stone is oh, going to be hard. No. Oh, no. Okay. You can do it. If you hit your warp stone immediately when you log in, you can get lucky. Okay, I'm just going to have to try to The get... other way. Go the other way. Oh, okay. Other way. Okay, I'm going to re-log and try to use that. But, yeah, I do have a link tree. Here, wait until, uh, wait until I give you the signal. Okay. If you'd like to check my link tree, you can get a link to my VODs channel and my main channel. <laughs> Not that that matters right now. Okay, just tell me when, because, yeah, it seems to... Refresh it real quick. Okay, yeah. There we go. As long as it says one, one out of five, yeah, you're good. All right, go okay, and try good. it. Try this again. Immediately hit it. Go home. Okay. Am I free? I'm free. I'm free. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's there you go. Good. And I was in a different place than last time because we were trying to figure out what was lagging the server, and it turned out there was a chunk that was basically blighted. As yeah. One does. As one does. And I, I need to figure out how to use world edit. To just clear that out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm wondering... That Nine Tails is to the southwest of us, so I need to make. Oh yeah, I'm big on like. Hold on. I need to make uh, more armor, but then after that we can go to the Nether, and then. Also, it turns out that Arznavo's Ritual of Containment is not in this version of Minecraft. It wasn't just disabled for balance reasons. It's just not in this version. So we can. What isn't? Ritual of Containment and Containment Jars. So we can still use Drigmies. But we'd have to do it by basically making mob cages, which isn't... Oh, really we bad. can't do the thing that you wanted to do with the, um, like, capturing mobs? Oh, well, yes and no. We can't put them in jars, so they'll still be out and around, and I probably need to use some name tags to keep them from despawning. But we can very much capture mobs and have their drops passively harvested. And I do plan to do that. I would just need to make some cages. Wait, did you? I have a. Um... Did you take all my name tags? No, no. Okay, I was just. No, 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 no. And if you want some name tags, I have plenty. Okay, me too. So if you want some name tags, I also have plenty. But let me see real quick. Do I? Um, how I have a source jar that is ninety-one percent full. How do I like? Will it just? How far or how close to my imbuement chamber does it have to be? The actual source jar. I think it's some, like... I think it has to be a block away, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, like, super... Like, you can't just be in, like, the same general room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. The wiki would have more. Also, do you have a scaffolding and a poppy? Ah! I guess I do. Thank you. Do I, actually? I know I have a poppy. Let's see. Wait a minute. You said yeah, you have bamboo. Poppy. I have I have eight bamboo. I actually just collected that though. Oh, okay. But I do just have a scaffolding. Nice. And I have a water bucket on me if you'd like it. All I need for sensitive is poppy and scaffolding. Sick. Thank you. Also, if you look at the map, I did a lot more exploring oh, just wow. to try and clear stuff out. Cool. Let me check. Interesting. Oh, pagoda. Yeah, so those are like the little pagoda things that we've been seeing around. Bearclaw Inn, did you name it? Yeah, that? there's some. Yeah, I no, that is the name of the place that is there. And I checked, uh, looting it does not give you because it's not associated with the villager system. Looting it doesn't give you any sort of drawbacks if you want to take it in there. Mm, not from what I s could see. Okay. No. Interesting. Ooh, that might be a town. Of oh wait, no, that's Acacia Springs. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move that one to the bottom of the list. 
Uh, that's what I did. Because we do not want to go there. Even by accident. Probably ever. That place is deeply accursed. Indeed. Yeah. Um, but well, yeah, so... I, I mostly up. explored the left side of the map. Mm. Um, I mean, you can always delete the waypoint and then re... You know, get back to it. Who knows? Oh, interesting. Um, I could do that. Let me... I need to make... Yeah, so I marked a bunch of... So I'm using, like, the red tags, the you are here things for quests. Oh, smart. Uh, big X's for, like, larger dungeon-looking things, mm -hmm. and then small X's for pirate ships. Nice. I saw a bunch of those. Um, anything that has a house is tp -able. Except for, I found another village, but it doesn't have a waypoint there. It just, it's just named Unnamed. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me Wait, the did, water what? bucket. Water bucket oh, is right. bugging out again. Oh, good lord. I'm gonna have to relog, maybe. Let's see. No, you got the glyph. You got the glyph. I did? Check your, yeah, check your, check your inventory. No, I didn't. It still needs it still needs a water bucket for glyph of sensitive. Oh. Because for if you want, reason, I can just throw a thing on it. Well, the issue is that for whatever reason, things are glitching out and I can't pick up water. It might be that specific spot. I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna relog like to try that out and check. Come on, come on. Ay ay ay. Yeah, this just... I don't know what's up. It's downright insane. Just take some water. Wait, no be a cove. Does Hold on. It doesn't do anything. Utterly insane. Don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I am... Yeah, so depending on whatever you want to do, I'm down for... To just go off me, because I have... I've got my weapons and extra yeah, I armor. I just need to make... Another thing of armor for myself, but I'm good. Yeah, for whatever reason, it literally was that one specific spot. That would give me fake water buckets, basically. That's so weird. Yeah, unlocked sensitive. I could make a joke about this. Oh, wait, and I make a quiver again. Hold on. Leather and a chest, I believe. Or maybe leather. No, and leather. Arrow. Two leather, leather and, and a arrow. feather. Two okay. leather and a Got feather. It, right. If they can go up to netherite, which is pretty crazy. But mm. it's so it's not even worth it though. Fair. I don't have any feathers. One of the things I definitely want to try to capture eventually has got to be an ice elemental so we can form ice crystals off of it to make ice arrows. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? That would be nice. I'm gonna start a very I don't have a lot of iron. I'm gonna start up. You don't have a lot of iron? I have so much fucking iron, it's okay. ridiculous. Oh, I almost Moshtenshi. Fake Italian meets real Italian. Um, I'm the fake one. Yeah. <laughs> Raw platinum. So how do I... How do I wanna... Hmm. But I guess I'll need more iron eventually for the specific purpose of... So, I've got a cow farm over here. Do nice. you want the chicken coop? I, if you want to make a chicken coop, you can do what you like with it. As of right now, I'm not really doing any kind of mob farming operations. Cause well, I'm just saying that because in order to get, like... Well, because chickens are a decent farm for feathers, specifically. Oh, oh. I... I... Cows are the most worth it in yeah. vanilla Minecraft, by far, because oh, really? leather is so much, just so much more useful. Mm-hmm. For books and bookcases, you know. Trick librarian guild. So I need to go and sign this to that lectern. How are you? Oh yeah, doing? go ahead and sign it. Did I? Yeah. Did I sign it? How are you doing, real Italian? Let me just. All right, I guess More I'm just less. gonna. Pretty simple stuff, really. Let me okay. Oh, yeah. Tracks are in there. Nine tails is there. Okay, I also need to make more mushroom stew. Oh, I should I... grab the ninth map, too. Wait, so... I don't remember. Are exams at least over, or are they still going? So I know you said you, said you had exams in January. Let me... So which do I... I have ingot before... 
gold, blood clump. Because the best armor we can get, period, is the Ignitium armor, which is upgraded from Netherite using an Ignitium ingot. It's completely unbreakable. And the mob it drops from is the Ignis boss, which can be farmed with Drygnes. And if you cage it, if I put in something like an Obsidian Cage, it wouldn't try to break out or even attack anything outside of it. You can cage bosses. Well... In the sense that if you teleport them inside a little cage, they can't escape. Oh my goodness. So how long have exams been going for? Glad you passed at least. Yeah, I bet you needed that sleep. I oh. didn't make it. Mm. Make what? But, what? Uh... Nothing. I just I'm okay. talking about the map marker. Okay. What is this sanguine steel? We need a bit of go to the valley, yo. blasting steel, steel. Okay. Some night steel. Oh no, Hivosol. Is that what no, I need? And I can make the armor I need now. Okay. Come on. What do you mean, is in pass or attend or. Either way, I wish you luck. What do you mean, remembers? Okay, steel, same with steel. Let me see. Yep, paladin helm, paladin boots. Yeah, we'll stick with that for now. Put that somewhere else, and yeah, just switch all these out. Oh, so... Wait. But, but what would that mean for your grade in the class? It's just gonna... Write it off as a loss? Oh, are they... Oh, they're, they're oral exams, right? Didn't you say this? Sorry. Let me... Either way... It sounds like an incredible level of unprofessionalism. Surprised that they can even get away with that. Not in a good way. Okay, we gotta make more mushroom stew. How many bulls do we have? I'm still trying to find rabbits, by the way. Okay. Although I am getting chickens for the nice feather that I need for. Don't don't worry mm. about that. I should be better at remembering these things. But okay, so I got my stew. My sword should last me long enough to get access to enchantments, because the ideal is going to be I get enough. I get new exper an experience farm. I get. I turn that skeleton spawner into an EXP farm, and I get enough enchantments to make some really, really strong fists. And that, if I put mending on those, and hopefully on breaking two, along with the highest level of sharpness I can get, it's the best single target DPS by far. Why don't you just play with the mod? Like, actually, like just in-game, just like have the mod, as opposed to like planning all ahead this stuff. What do you mean, play the, play the mod? Like, I don't know much about, like, what we have to craft, but I'm assuming that there's, like, a weapons book out there or something oh, that we can no, make. Oh, there's no weapons book. You're just supposed to discover how to make it on your own? You're supposed to use the menu. JI? Yeah, You're literally yeah. just supposed to look up weapons and then use one of them? Yeah. It's dumb. At I least agree. Tinker's Construct has, like, a book. Yeah, but... Sadly, this is not Tycon. I wish it was. Well, I just don't know the different. Can you, you can just look up a weapon tag. I'm assuming. Oh, found like a pillager camp. I mean, oh. yes, but it's more looking up. There's probably a tag somewhere, but I don't know what it is. But if you look up words like sword or blade or whatever, they're also 
There are some items with weapon in the description or name, or the mod name, but it's weird. I should probably put some of those things in that backpack away. But yeah, I would like to go and fight that Ninetales in a bit. Want to see. Want to book. Oh, oh, and more Drigmy shards. That will be nice. Chaotic gem. Um, I don't know. Do, fe do chickens just not drop feathers or something? They drop feathers for me. I feel like it might just be bad luck in this case. That's what I would think. Mana regen. Mana regen. That's not bad either. Mana oh, I have... Dude, I, we need to get the... Uh, actually, doing beating the Ninetales should be like one of the first things we do, because I really want to check out the enchanting stuff. Yeah. Apologies. Especially because... Oh, yeah. Well, especially because... I've got so many books. I've got a mending book. Like, I kind of want to make a a baller weapon. Because, mm -hmm. like, I have a mending iron chest plate, which is fine by me for now. I'm more worried about artillery than I am about... Okay, did I tell you about the crazy crossbow enchantment that this mod ha that this mod pack has? Isn't it like it allows you to shoot six bolts at a time, right? Yeah, crescendo, it's like tribal... crescendo of bolts, it maxes out at six... For one reload at crescendo of bolts five multi-shot is just normal but this is new and it's pretty crazy mm -hmm. what's the difference between multi-shot and crescendo of bolts multi-shot means when you shoot one arrow two more go on each side is in one on each side for three in total but oh but that one is almost just like a machine crossbow yeah but the thing about it is that <laughs> java has and it does fire continuously if you hold a button down but the thing about it is that java has Mercy invincibility on hit, so there's no reason to spam. What it does let you do is, if you wait a second between tapping each time, you can get much higher DPS, but you do have to restrain yourself a little. It is mm -hmm. cool. I'm excited to be able to actually use the stuff, but it will take the infrastructure to manage it. Flint gravel. Got another waystone. <laughs> Necrotic gem, but I honestly have enough of that already. Okay, oh! 35% base armor piercing. Okay, these Ender Surge gems are going to be pretty good. Oh, plus 5 base, it, base current HP damage armor piercing. Oh, this is Winnipeg, Canada. Which... Oh, I already knew this, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. The funniest possible thing to maybe do would be stacking... 20 of these base current HP damage Ender Surge gems to get 100% base current HP damage. How are you? To oh, so no, I, how do you know about. Uh, how do you know about fucking. Apotheosis. Like, what are you talking about? The gems? Apotheosis? Is that the enchanting thing? Yeah, yeah it's the gem stuff. Um, oh, also, I fought in, like, it, it was like a boss Enderman. It wasn't like a final, like a boss boss. It was just like a better Enderman or something. I forget what it was called. It was like vicious Enderman, Enderman or something. Okay. Um, fought it. It dropped five Ender Pearls and three Eyes of Ender. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. So you could save that up for that experience upgrade, maybe. Experience containing backpack thing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Not sad. By the time we can craft that, we'll probably have enough experience that we don't really have to worry about it. Well, I'm, using, I'm losing experience left and right, though, so... Oh, that's fair. But what I mean is that eventually we'll have more experience than we'll know what to do with. Eventually. Oh, oh, eventually. Like, a while from now. Once we go to the nether, I can get some imp scales, make the Drigmi charm. And the Drigmi farm produces crystallized experience. And frankly, as soon as we have access to... As soon as we have access to any kind of experience farm, experience will become a lot easier to come by. 
I mean, any kind of mob farm. Experience will become a lot easier to come by. Yeah, but it's not like... You can just walk in and get experience. It still has to respawn. Yeah. That's fair. Well, what I'll have to do is make a... This is a cool-ass village. ...pretty simple chunk loader. Once I actually get some of the farms up and going. Then I can just have that run. While we're off doing things, the Drigmies can be collecting stuff. Which will be nice. But... I've got my stuff squared away, so if you're interested in going to fight the Ninetales now... If I can get one feather... Like, literally a sin- oh wait, actually, hold on. I have 11 feathers if you want one. I need... Could I have... I think I need three. Four? For what? A quiver? Yeah, I'm making a gold quiver. Okay, well, I'll get back to base. I can give you one. Alright, sick. Gold quiver. Oh, you need to put another feather, feather, feather in every time you... Yeah, it's not like a backpack. That, that's weird. I don't like that energy. It's giving. I'm at your base. The feathers are on the floor next to the waystone. Sick. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. Yep. Okay. Do I need another nah. shield? I might need another shield. May as well, just to be safe. Oh, the Ignitium ingots also let you make a shield, which I'm pretty sure is unbreakable, too. So that will also be nice. Did I? Did I put... Oh, wait, I need four feathers. Okay. Did I... wait, 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 wait. No, I only need three. Okay. Uh, in that case, do you actually want... Um... What, what? I have a quiver. It's I, just not one that you can use with the baubles thing. That's why I'm getting this. I don't this use gold those. quiver. Not yet, at least. I'm waiting until I can actually get some enchanting in. Hmm. Once I have the ability to make a crescendo of bolts crossbow and, with mending and quick charge. And well, ideally also a way to probably farm ice, farm the ice crystals, which are separate things. Because those ice arrows need arrows, ice crystals, and blue ice blocks. And all those are farmable, but I would need to get... I was able to grab a loyalty one trident. Oh, wow. You're the trident guy. It's yours if you want it. Well, uh, you're not going to be a mine... I, I, I think, ideally, we're not a Minecraft weapon... We're not a vanilla weapon... ...thing, either. Fair. But... The Diamond Claymore is not a vanilla weapon. No, I know. No, I'm saying we're not a vanilla weapons. Like, we oh, shouldn't okay. be using vanilla weapons. Well, I suppose. Trident's good, though. So are Epic Fight and Epic Knights the best ones? I would say so, considering that the Fists are an Epic Fight weapon. And the Fists just take, for each one, it's one Iron Ingot and three Iron Nuggets. Fists? That fucking rules. Yeah, and if you put Sharpness on it, it's the best DPS in the game by far. It's pretty ridiculous. If you can you do like a diamond katana? You can make a diamond tachi. Which is kind of like a bigger katana. Randomies per swing. It's not about Because these all just have eight attack damage. Yeah. Everything is eight attack damage, but some of them have more attack speed. The Kotzbogger. Well, I also need something with a range. Yeah. And that's the downside of the fists, is that they don't really have range or AoE. But that said, once we get to the nether and we can make level 2 glyphs, we can actually start doing appreciable damage with Ars Nouveau. So... It's not going to be what horrible in the long run. Allspice? Is that what that is? What do you mean, Allspice? 
a diamond allspice, I think that's how you pronounce oh, it. Oh, oh, you meant the weapon. Yeah. Or was... Epic Knight's gonna be the better ones. Epic Knights is mostly if you want things like range or if you want to fight on horseback. Attack speed is literally the be-all end-all of DPS, considering that sharpness is just flat damage. This isn't bedrock where sharpness is percentile. So the faster you hit, the more times you hit in a given duration, that will almost be the biggest determiner of damage, especially considering how... And, you know, say what you will, I think the pack balance kind of crapped the bed with this one. That weapons that deal higher base damage consume ridiculously high amounts of stamina to the point where they're almost unusable even with leveled stamina. And since we haven't captured a church doctor or anything, you know, we are, we're at base stamina. So you said the Blood and Madness stuff, the Bloodborne mods, are it useless? Is, it's not worth using at all, because the upgrades look really good on paper. But since it's an upgrade to base damage instead of an enchantment type deal, they consume so much stamina that they're practically unusable. Which sucks, because they look really cool. Their transformation mechanics are really cool, especially the Chikage. But 15 damage, one attack. It's. Chikage's transformed mode at max upgrade is 42 base damage. Unfortunately, that means you're consuming more than a full stamina wheel with every swing you do. Which is as ridiculous as it sounds. Is there a way to sort the JEI by. like attack speed or like a da attack damage not to my knowledge i mean in the end i would be fine with us both using this but you and i probably both would like us to differentiate our combat tactics at least a little oh bit. yeah there's more character in that okay well i'm just waiting Tell me when you want to go fight the Nine Tails. Right, I, I can do it now. I was just trying to figure out like what I'd want to use for it, but uh, that'll be later. But after oh, we unlock God. the enchanting. Alrighty. Mobilize. God. Where did I put my map? Oh, it's by my bed. Vampires. I also need to actually use the stuff I've been storing because mm -hmm. they are quite close to being. Um, Being what? Like, I'm cl quite close to just not having enough storage anymore. Oh, okay. Wow. Night Rober, we've already done. Haunted Place. This would be... Oh, I haven't done Haunted Place yet. We, we should do that, though. What do you mean, Haunted Place? Corrupt Ogre. Uh, map to the Nine Tails. There we go. Another Goblin King. <laughs> okay. Frankly, I'm not very interested. Okay, but... It's basically... I, I love how it how they told us to do... Alright, so we are... It, it is to the southwest. Yeah, it's to the southwest of your base. How they told us to do what? Oh, southwest of my base? Wait. More or less. Would going to Adobe Pier help us at all? Well, I'm gonna guess. I can't teleport there. Oh, how yeah. You? I'm going to do that, though, okay. because that is to the southwest. It's just not. All right. It's much more west than it is south. Mm. Which is probably the important thing, because it's barely south. Barely I also south of our base. chose to put this waypoint here. Mm. Oh, I didn't bring another um, bed. Mm. I just it realized that. should be fine. I think I have one in one of my backpacks. I'll check. I I don't. <laughs> Well, All right, well, I'm in a village right now, so I will sleep. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm sure we'll find one somewhere. I could just take that one. If you like. Hmm. 
I'll take a different one so that way if okay. I spawn point. So the Ender Search gems max out at 10% max health, so I would need... At max purity, I'd need 10 of them. What are all the gems? Are all the gems part of the same mod? Of Apotheosis, yeah. But you can't check okay. their effects in JEI. At least not all that easy. At least not all that easily. So I'm not entirely sure of all the functions, sadly. Alright, yeah, so it is... So it is very west. Oh my goodness. Very west, because I went... I'm actually... Need, I need to go northwest now. Oh, wow. In that case, I suppose I'll meet you there. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you go to... Oh, I Novia... Oh, point. I already discovered all those. I have a teleport point, so once I get there, I might plop one down to... Go back. To like you have base. a waystone on your thing? I do. I might plop one down so I can just get back quickly and take a bed. Go back to my base, take a bed, and then bring I it back you. over there so we can actually just set our spawns there. I think that would be somewhat wise. Maybe. But apparently this is going to be a matter of basically ambushing a guy in his house. That'll be interesting. Just Naruto sitting on a chair. I do find it interesting, because when I saw Ninetales, I thought, oh, it's probably going to be from some Naruto mod. But apparently it's an original mod made for the mod pack. So we'll see. Seems like this... Oh, there's a knight over oh, here. Maybe. Like one of those... One of those what? Like the sentinel knights. Oh, interesting. And the, and the giant trees. Oh. Okay. Feel the vibrations under the ice. Don't like that. Oh my goodness. Those are the creepiest things, dude. Yeah. Gonna be very excited for us to get access to the Crush Glyph so we can just nuke them from above the water. Or crush Glyph ideally... is still, uh, usable? What? Yeah, it is. Crush is... at least for the damage, because the Sheer Glyph... You couldn't use it to break blocks, but I didn't get any indication that it had been disabled, because you can still craft it and use it. It's just... If it still, can't. like, has the thing... I would be almost certain that it's still going to have the function of dealing extra damage to submerged enemies. I don't think that's a thing that the mod makers would object to. I hope. I don't know why Summon Steed was... Well, because they probably thought it was broken, and very specifically, apparently there's another mod that they added that allows you to summon a horse that you own. So oh, so it could just be conflicting? They might have thought, well, they might have thought it was kind of redundant. Maybe. Ocean Monument. Oh, interesting. So it's like this. Oh. I'm just gonna... Put that down and... Oh! Splendor Gem. Splendor gem might be nice. Oh, Adobe Pier. If there's a t yeah, that's one. If there's a waystone there, I should definitely mark that. That Adobe Pier is the uh, that is the waystone. Oh, you're not there yet. Yeah. yeah. Someone got a little guardian thing, and oh, this is lagging a little. Oh, all these villagers over here. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Oh my goodness. Land seems to be pretty far away. I think this might be boat time. Hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of guardians. Did I just find another village? Let's keep on going. Might have. A savannah village. Uh, awesome. Okay. Does that have different trades that we specifically want, or...? Well, I'm sorry, what? Does that have specific trades that we want, or...? No, I just- it's just a- okay. I just- It's Remarked a new type of village. village. Okay. I do wonder what we want to do with those battle towers. I mean, I think it's a new type of village. There's... Oh, good lord. There's just this one building. Shipwreck down there? Oh, I do not want to run into one of those annoying skeleton fish. I hate those skeletal eggs so much. Dude, I died because of it. Uh, they, they just, you can't run away from them. Yeah, they're absolute shooters. It's kind of insane, honestly. Let me check my... Oh, it's just a guy that has a quest. The thing about the skull oh, is that 
They drop their skulls, which can be used as weapons, actually. And what's interesting about that is that they actually have a crazy high attack speed. When I was doing some experimentation earlier to try to figure out the best sort of DPS, I tried using them, but it seems that over a certain point, deep attack speed is kind of the same in a certain sense. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Well, well, I should be able to make my way over to that place soon. Did I say a soul heart? Soul heart? That's an item that you have to get for requests. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And then. Soul heart. Alex I put a. Rubs. Interesting. All right, I still need to be going northwest, so... Well, I'm going over to that pier, so we should probably That's be able to wake up some. Maybe. Yeah, I think I found the place. Might have. Close enough. All right. So, did you mark the... Mark it on your atlas, sort of where the teleport waypoint is specifically, or...? Uh, it's... for the most part. Okay. It shouldn't just be in the general area. Okay. Oh my goodness, I hear something. Okay. I'm getting a little lag. Oh wow. This is a pretty place. Like the architecture. Architecture? Architecture. Scratches your nuts a little. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Mm. Okay. Not sure how you feel about that one, considering you don't have any. Damn, Rich. My goodness. It's a little crass. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna find that. Oh, I found another giant tree. Point, point, hopefully. And hopefully link back up with you and for whatever... Yeah, I'm lagging too, and I'm not sure exactly why. Discrimination, probably. You should complain to the manager. Aw. Where is... Teleport point. Is it not Emrich? Or is it Emrick? It got changed in Twitch? It got changed in Twitch. No, it's not. It freaking says Emrick. Wait. It says Anna Emrick for me. Oh, yeah. So oh, I'm and I found a Drigme, but pff, I don't have any Wilden Horns to use on it. That sucks. Wait, so what is it? If you use an Elden Horn on a Drigme, then a what does it do? Elden Horn on a Drigme. If you drop it around a Drigme, it'll pick it up and turn into two Drigme shards, which you can use to make that mob form I mentioned before. Oh, okay. So, which means that once I actually get a Drigme farm going, I'm going to have to farm Wilden Horns there so I can get more Drigmes. Rocky Jungle. Oh, I was just straight up going in the wrong direction. Oh, you were objecting to the pronunciation. Okay. It's because you're the only one who's actually played Metal Gear. Is that a good enough answer for you? Come on, come on. Oh, where is this other village? I need that teleport point. A German name? I guess we don't like Germans. Hmm. Adobe Pier is a pretty cute name for this. Is there Thank water you. nearby? Or... Oh, I'm here at the pier, by the way. Yeah, it's literally on the... That's why I named it the Pier. Oh, nice. Because I knew there was water in the other part, but I was wondering what the connection was, if there was one. Let me talk to this guy. Come on, come on. Primitive villagers boast to hunt, I accept, and that's Slingshot. Spoke replica. A slingshot. Where are you? Adobe Pier. Slingshot takes. A rabbit hide see. a slime ball. Takes more than a bow. That cannot be worth it. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, it takes a freaking rabbit hide. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Of which I'm trying to find. Come on. End dimension in end stone. Sure. Whatever. There are other dimensions, too, actually. There are, and I actually... Oh, that reminds me. I need to give you a book. What book? 
Uh, remind me after we get back. It's, it's like an introduction to the dimension stuff. The Everbright and whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm. How did you get that book? Um. It was through a um an advancement. Hmm. Okay. I am going to go northwest now. If you don't. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna, before you do that, I'm going to sleep, and that way okay. we can go together. Okay. Well, it appears to actually be pretty close to this place. I went a little northwest. Oh, I found a gatekeeper is what I did. Mm. For combat-related quests? I just forget what that was. Alright, it's towards the orc camp, right? Mm -hmm. Seems to be. Do I, I have a pair I do see you. Okay. Yeah, what's up? Well, I guess we could maybe clear the orc camp along the way, if we wanted to be funny. Though, frankly... They you want to? Sure, why not? Is it worth it? They do have loot chests. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Come on. Okay, well... Go over on this side. Come on. Orc Savage with sword. Oh, oh goodness, and... They have lost their composure. Come on, come on, and oh my goodness. Don't kill me. Ah. Savage. What's really funny is that there's a Warhammer-based morale system in the Orcs mod, so they can actually flee if you freak them out enough by just hitting them a bunch. Which is pretty funny in my opinion. Dude, oh. I don't know why they keep hitting me with like a blindness thing. Oh, it's one of the special kind of things. In the sense that some of them have buffs. Oh, actually, that's the weird boy specifically, and that's what he does. Can they hit me from up here? They have a spell, that's the thing. Oops. Okay, well... Running away now. Group leader. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of damage there. I'm gonna fight him in the camp. Come on. Wounding. Oh, it's because he's a he's an elite. That's why he deals so much. That's so much health. Okay, come on and let me. Oh my goodness, both of these guys. I'm gonna try and smite him from afar. Okay. With your bow or? With plenty. I find it funny that you use the term smite for a ranged attack. Yep. Or well, smite's not ranged. Smite is. I'm it's looking at them it. down from the heavens. Uh, How can I not hit them? What? I don't know. It might be. Are weird. you getting afflicted with a uh... wither or something? Yeah. I'm gonna kill that weird boy. That's what he's doing. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Come on! Come on! Oh my goodness! Out of my way! Oh, here, right. move, 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 move. Yeah, that's the weird boy's whole deal. Status effects. So I need to go over and kill him real quick. Die. Okay, so that should be over now. We should be free. How is it? Am I not hitting him? They might be immune to range somehow. I'm not sure. Oh! They have a little counter dodge kind of thing. Uh, yeah, Seems they're just straight up not so taking any damage from me. That's weird. You might have to fight the melee then. Sadly. Dumb. Yeah. I'm going to take Inferno on here. Huh. Okay. Reflective and kindling infested. Oh, so. Interesting. Okay, taking some damage there. Also, this news will probably not mean anything to you. But they added, I think I told you, but they added the bird to Genshin, and she makes Zhao a lot stronger. She's kind of a dedicated Zhao buffer. Kind of. Which means that I'm actually going to be using Zhao soon. Your boy. I mean, I've had artifacts for him, and had him leveled, and his talents kind of leveled for a while. But now that I have 
some dedicated supports for him in an actual decent team, I'll be actually using him. Wait, did you die? Are you still here? Or... Yeah, I'm okay. still here. Okay. I saw that tower where you were burning down. I was wondering if that was related to you. So is this dude actually just immune to ranged damage? He might be. I would need to check his title. Oh, he's drowning. Him. I'm oh, drowning him right now. do that. Did you get him in the water? Oh, I'm just, yep. Yeah, they can't swim. Is he... Oh, he can't swim? Yeah. That's so funny. Boot of the Earth. Orc Teeth. Splendor Gem. Mining Speed. Life Mending. Yeah, I don't like Life Mending. What's really funny, actually, is that luck affects loot chests. It increases what you get from loot chests. It's so funny that he's just sitting there drowning. I'm not gonna try and kill him. I'm gonna just let him drown. Nice. I wonder. I yeah. wonder how that. I wonder how that is from a moral perspective. Uh, just watching my enemy drown as opposed to I don't know. Pretty sure there's a train that'll uh, uh that a thought experiment would help me analyze. Trolley problem. Yep. I, I think it's Do I want to just watch him die, or...? I think the entire point of the trolley problem is that... It's not a choice between, you know, someone dying and nobody dying, but... One Got him. person dying through your action and five dying through inaction. Orc teeth. That's all I got. He didn't drop anything else. I think... Well, the scraps... There were some blocks over there, and frankly... I think you can turn the scraps into... Oh, did you clear all the other orcs? I did. Sick. Scraps can be turned into... Oh, you can turn two scraps into an iron ingot. Okay, that's good. So I can maybe restock in some iron that way. Two iron scraps into an iron ingot? Yeah. It's not amazing, Name but it's incredible. Necrotic total attack. Oh, iron leggings of gravity? Important critical strength. Big horn, big horn. Those are just decorative items. A hundred percent purity mirror gem. Oh, a diamond! A golden nice. apple. I got a golden apple, but not a diamond. But like I said... Blue diamonds! Holy shit! Holy diamond. I'm not a diamond. Is that a song? No. Okay. Um, more iron scraps, and... Looks like they were diamonds. gonna build a uh, thing. Who was gonna build what? I don't know. Name tag. Glowberries. Discord. Give me nothing. Okay. Love to see that. Discord calls loud? Okay, I'll turn it down by five decibels. Okay, because last time I had him at minus five decibels. Anytime there's a sound issue, feel free to complain. I, That is literally not annoying for me at all. Wait, so were there just three loot chests? Yeah. Alright, then we should be on a merry way. Yeah, I... Don't don't even consider that a complaint. That's something I should pay attention to and fix myself already. But I realize it's because the last time I had someone on Discord, it was Emmerich, who is not as loud as you. Mainly because pretty much everyone other than you who I've streamed with has had a utterly reprehensible audio setup with a mic that is really really quiet and that they have no way to make louder so yeah wait what's this what's this what's what something <gasps> rainbow sheep wait what where oh my god it's the most beautiful thing i've ever seen where are you did you oh did you go south i mean north yep. directly north let me see no, this. No, I'm just, I'm literally, like, just very close. Okay, let me see this thing. So let's see, oh my goodness, rainbow sheep. Let's drop rainbow wool. Ezdrust the eager's about to clock me in the booty. So I'm Ezra's about to... Eager. Okay. Ezdrust the eager, and I assume that's him. Come on. Oh, he's burning. 
He is burning. Oh, oh, I need to get out of here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep. How yep. do you how do yep. you get hit by him? Because he has an attack that can hit through anything. Oh, it's guardians. Okay. Oh, the guardian. Ezra's the eager is not a guardian. Ezra's the eager is a ghoul. No, oh, no, it is a guardian. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, all right. I'm no, here, stay there. Hold stay on, I'm coming back. That. Okay. Apparently, I get. Oh wait, it's not. Never mind. It's not night enough. Okay. Well, I am just going to set up my boat. Is this beetroot? It's a. Sea also, beetroot. I think the best, the sea most beetroot. likely place we'll find rabbits right, is a desert. Interesting. But I have yet to find a desert. Desert rabbit. Okay, let me eat some more mushroom stew. All I'm right, do you have a bed? To... I don't. I was trying to get to the place so I could put a waypoint down and go home and grab a bed. Well, I mean... <laughs> When you're already, once you get there, it's like there's not much of a point. It's not like we're going to be spending a bunch of nights there. Well, it's to put our spawn point there in case we get killed. That said, everything after... I know, but if you have a waypoint... Well, you need experience to teleport to a waypoint. Or you need to wait for a warp stone to cool down. Which... It's better just spawn there, in my opinion. I don't know. Did you just leave? To put a waypoint down? I'm gonna have to go home. I'm not gonna fight it without you. Well, I wanna keep an eye on it. On what? Edvard the whatever. Oh, oh. It's not gonna despawn, and if it despawned, you would just be able to collect the chest. The chest isn't just gonna up and vanish. No, it's not about the chest. I actually wanted to beat him, too. Oh, well... Uh, I don't think it's going to despawn. It's a name some... Guy. Something is wrong. Never mind. Good. Okay. What was happening? Nothing. Okay. Well, I am going to set up camp outside, put something down, go back home, get a bed, and... Well, there's another puzzle shrine nearby. Good. Get some more spirit orbs. Which will get us ever closer to actually getting a container. wonder if this one will be the same as the previous one. Oh, and there's a starbuckle, but eh, I don't really need any starbuckle shards. It's only Drigme shards I really care about. Sneak four times consecutively to return to your current location. Interesting. That wasn't my current location, it was closer to... So this is... Oh! Well, this is strange. Hmm. Well, okay. Okay, so Autumn. there's some kind of contraption here. Redstone-based contraption. And, of course, a parkour that I skipped. Gimme. Okay, so there's carpet over here. Oh. Prismarine crystals on the this stage. up so it activates... The pistons. Wait. Aw. Dude, these slimes are so annoying, man. Hmm. Which ones? Like, we're just gonna make, like, uh, the, the uh, guy who made this guy, he was like, alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add slimes, but instead of, like, you know, them being non-hostile when they're a certain height and... Just be an overall chill. We're gonna give ones that drop way less important drops, but that don't do, like, any damage, but are still there to annoy you. And they spawn everywhere. Okay, so that one's the red one. It doesn't have a carpet on it for some reason. And I would assume I need to light up all of these lanterns. Luck of the C3 fishing rod is in there. Oh, nice. Congratulations on the fishing rod. Thank you. Just get all these extended, or what happens if I? We're running low on food too. I just realized. Force to some of these, or because I would guess that it might be about 
And a Riptide 3 Trident? That thing dropped a Riptide 3 Trident. Huh. Okay, I'm very... Cu curious on what this... is actually supposed to do. It's supposed to cover all these, or...? Huh. You know, it would be nice if... <laughs> Kind of like a Zelda shrine, there was a title for each one that basically gave you a hint to what the puzzle's goal even was. Are you are you doing the puzzle now? Yeah. Are we not doing it together? Last time you did did it on your own, or at least tried to until like I should No! I literally was just doing the parkour, and maybe I was thinking through things, but Well, I don't think I'll get it until you show up anyway. But I can tell you my coordinates right now. Go ahead. Negative 3539, comma 92. Turn about is fair play. What can I say? But. I'm just gonna eat my soup until you show up. No. But. Hmm. Very confused as to what the aim of this puzzle actually is. I feel like the parkour beforehand is probably a clue. As it was last time. Did you not put down your waystone? No, because this isn't where the Ninetales is. Okay. Yeah, well, while you're waiting, why not put down the waystone, go grab a bed, come back, and then just rip the waystone out. And then yeah. you can just put the waystone down when... Well, it's because originally I wasn't waiting. Yeah, you're we'll just gonna do it without me. And give you one of the two spirit orbs? Yeah, don't do that. There's a reason I waited for you with the other one. Is this another village? Where the hell am I? Let me see. What is this place over here? What is this? Uh, it's like some kind of stable. It's to say, well, there's no gate over here. What are you doing? Oh, are you crazy? You seem to be trying to attack me. You know... Yeah, I see the puzzle thing now. If you're gonna be this aggressive. Oh no, this is the Nine Tails. What the what? heck? Is he just attacking you now? Yeah, he's just, he is literally just a guy. It's crazy. He's not not with this. Um. Okay, I'm gonna lock him inside his gate because he can't leave the fence gate. Okay, I'll put that waystone down. I'll follow your instructions. There might be a waystone in this village. Okay. W. I'm gonna go back home. Get a if bed. there are a waystone in this village, that'd be awesome. Let's see. Yeah, when you get the waystone, put it just put it actually outside this village, and we can keep the waystone there. Okay. Well, I think I need to craft another another bed because that other one got blown up. Well, if I have wool, I don't have wool on me, but I. Okay, where's the string? Just you need it. wool. I have so many. Okay, which it's chest? So which chest is it in? Uh, my random blocks chest. It'll be the big one on the left at the bottom. Okay. You know, it makes sense. Maybe... Left if you're facing the furnaces, but okay. if you're facing the ladder, it's the one on the right. Mm -hmm. It's a large, the bottom large chest. Okay. You know. It's not exactly convenient for me that they aren't marked, but it's probably better for you in the case that someone wants to steal your things. Well, it's not about being convenient to you, is it? I know. But what I'm saying... I'm try I'm actually planning on marking them eventually. I usually do, but I just want item frames. Okay. 
I'm going to craft a bed. Yeah, we should just put this waystone down in the town. Okay. Because it doesn't seem like there are there's a waystone here already. out make myself a bed turn myself into a bed okay well guess I will warp stone back back to W okay let's break this real quick with iron pickaxe cool okay so what are your cords Um, negative 3,500, 280. Okay, that, okay, that's pretty east of here then. Okay, I'll be there. Eventually... Did you not see this when you were coming over? No, because I took an entirely different path than you. Pretty sure. Yeah, I stayed a bit south compared to where you went. Which is why if there's a village over there, I did not find it. Yep, I did not see that. 280. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. I'm stupid. I'll be there. And you said it was by the shrine? Yeah. Okay. It is, um... I it's a little bit southeast of the shrine. Okay, I might have mistaken it for an enemy camp. Frankly, I think I probably saw it and just forgot because I saw the shrine. Okay. Come on. Well, I'll get over there. I feel like... We could just put the bed on top of that house. Top of... Oh my goodness. Oh, those are some barbarians over here. Okay. Barbarians are such weaklings. <laughs> what? Oh, no man. I thought I died for some reason. Okay. Well, I'll put down a waypoint over here. Huh. Second. There are not a waystone in this town already. There's that big horse statue. That's funny. Oh my goodness, this is basically the Denver International Airport. Really? See that thing? Those barbarians are. Oh! It's a horse statue with horses around it. It's basically. Oh, that literally is a horse statue. Yeah, it's, that's almost certainly a Breath of the Wild reference. Oh, there's a church doctor in this town. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about Killing that. Killing people. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Well, all right. I need to kill this guy. Church doctors actually aren't that hard to deal with. They're not? I think they're considered, like, a mid-level enemy, though. In what sense? All right, yeah, so here, put the... I don't know, just the fact that they have like a middling amount of HP, middling amount of damage. Well, I think the big thing is just that they drop essence. So where should I put it? Should we get rid of this lantern and put it in that spot? That's what I'll do. No, you don't want to put it in a bed. Uh, put it, uh... No, I'm, ta I'm talking about the waypoint. No, I know. Don't You don't want to put it in like a little flower bed thing. Why not? Um, because it's weird. Let's it's put it... Stone. Here. Let's clear this out. Well, the main thing is that all the other waystones in villages had a little shrine or a little place of privilege for them. Yeah, they had like a little platform. Yeah, and but... that little flower bed is basically a platform. Yeah, but there's also one just like it, right? Actually, hold on. Actually, you know what? No, 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 that's a good place. That's a good place. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I thought there was a bunch of them that were right next to each other or something. Instead of the taking damage, I'm stupid. Okay, because I thought I had my paraglider out when I didn't. Okay, cool. Just a second. 
check something real quick. I gotta put that back. Let's see. Also, if you want to name it after a city, go ahead, but it has to be a city in Argentina. No, Argentina's south of here. There's a horse statue. No, I know. This is I know. This is Denver, Colorado. There's a horse statue. Why does that mean it's Denver? Because the Broncos? Because outside Denver International Airport, there is a blue plexiglass horse statue. That you, know what, you know what, here, name it Broncos Country Let's Ride, because that's literally Denver City. Oh, wait, do you not know about the horse statue outside Denver No, I didn't know Airport? that. It killed its creator. That's hilarious. Also, I'm about to delete it and put in... This was my waystone that I put down at your BS. Uh, if you act fine. with that level of ingratitude, I will literally kill you. Nah, nah, you know what, it's fair. As long as... When I set a waypoint down, I can name it. But which I think is fair. I wouldn't object to you. I haven't made any objections to you naming your waypoints, whatever you want. This fight has been... their actual decided. names. Motherfucker. Good god. <laughs> Alrighty. Doctor. Come on. Dude, you know what I realized? We haven't what? been... We have not... We've explored north of our bases a little bit. Yeah, we've really true. explored west. Explored south a little bit. Nothing east. We haven't explored east of their base at all. If I want to do any more... Exp but I think that's because it's all ocean. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I Is it Strick right on that, that frozen... Alright, wanna go over to the shrine? Yeah. There's a church doctor here that I'm killing real quick. Okay, yeah, eventually... I'm gonna have to capture one of those church doctors and farm essence from it. Cause the mouse... Essence gives you essence from what again? You can use it in... You can use six in place of four spirit orbs for... But you also have to pay emeralds. So oh. To get a heart container or a stamina vessel. So it's an alternative. You gonna kill those barbarians or? I already did. There's one more. Oh, there is. Is that a loot barrel or a normal barrel? Uh, no, a loot barrel. It's just a barrel. Oh, never mind. You can take that. Sick. Uh, oh, more church doctors. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's good, brother? What's good, brother? Oh my goodness. You're done. You're done. Don't come back okay. until New Year's. There we go. Oh, withering from the church doctor? Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not expect that. And to be fair, I haven't gotten hit by one in a while. Let's just kill that guy. Kill that guy. Come on, and... Oh, please. Don't kill me. Okay, did I get... I did not get anything really worth having. That sucks. Okay, well, I will be making my way back to the shrine as well. Sneak four times consecutively to return to your current location. I did that when that message first showed up, and it sent me closer. <laughs> Returning to entrance. Okay, but... Very clearly, I would assume that... Never the layout on. of the blocks in this parkour is something to do with the layout of... Ooh! Oh, this is a cooler one. Yeah. Yeah, it very plainly seems to have some relation to the other blocks. Kind of makes me think that what we're going to have to do is make the piston positions sort of match the block positions. Oh wait, I literally, at this point, I now have the Hyut spell, so I can just not do the parkour. Mm -hmm. There's no penalty either. Okay, well... So, let's look at these individually. All those levers just make one thing retract, I'm pretty sure. No, no, one of them connects. Oh, this, you know what this is? What I think this might be? Uh, we have to get all the redstone to light up, so it's like free flow. Oh. You remember that game? Mm -mm. Alright, so that retracts oh, okay. that. That should be good. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta make all the redstone light up. 
Okay. Almost positive. Uh, okay, that makes hmm. sense. I can see that. Oh, so it would get over here this lamp. Maybe turn that lantern on. I think maybe what we have to do is turn that lantern on. This that this white one has to stay down. Okay. Because this redstone can't get lit up. Oh, in that, that case, is it is impossible to have it all lit up. So it would have to be about getting this... Wait, what? Block. What do you mean it's impossible to get it all lit up? Well, because there's that sort of... Not really oh, clear. yeah, because I can't, like... Yeah, those two redstone things would yeah, be... Yeah, there's a redstone would... lamp over on this side, and I'm pretty sure that the goal oh, is to that, light yeah. it up. Light it up somehow. So basically you have to get both of these, so then we... Let me see. Let me... Oh, that's not red. So white, get rid of that. Okay, what, what, I want to see what happens if I get rid of the black one. Actually, hold on. Huh. Combination lock almost. So we basically, we need to make sure that... Oh, none, no, that's good. ...that none of these are lit up. Maybe. That none of those ones, which means that we would have to... Black has to go. Also... What is the blue one? Hold on. Flipping the blue. So this, this disables this one. So we need... In that case... Red should, orange, I think. Orange, yeah, that'll disable. No, we need to turn, um... We need to get this one out. Which Let me means... turn green off, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, green gets off. Yeah. Um... What's left is this one over here by the repeater. So I think maybe... What happens if you put blue down? Blue. Okay, but that one kept going. No, we need this to be on. Oh, right, right. So blue needs to go. You're right, sorry. Ooh, so Ooh this is interesting. Blue without that red. Huh. Uh, let's turn brown off. Okay. Hmm. That one looks more orange than brown to me. Not that that matters. Hmm. Oh, it, it's orange, I guess, because it's terracotta. Orange, you glad? Alright, no, 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 so we're good here. Okay. Hmm. We're all good, we just need to get rid Except, of this second one. I think pink? Let me see pink. No. But that didn't change anything. Do I need to put both? Let me see. Would blue and pink together? Yeah, so I'm trying to get a. I tr kind of want to get rid. Of redstone mechanics. It's got to be a combination. Well, of that these. comparator is probably going to screw with things. Because what I'm assuming. Or no, that's just a repeater, not a Yeah, comparator. I was going to say, that looks like a repeater to me. If there were a comparator, that'd be really cool. Because then you'd have to actually adjust the signal strength. Yeah. All right, so this is a matter of we need to turn off the power to this block. So retracting blue doesn't do it yet, but that we need to keep blue retracted and then working our way backwards. Okay, and then we red, should red. Ooh, wait, hold on. What if we have to we have that to do white now? One. Because now... No, but both of those are activated now. White seems to be... Well, there's something... Oh, that didn't have now. a... Maybe if I... Try blue, try blue. Try blue. No, blue needs to stay back. Okay. Because if, if blue gets extended, then it's powering this block directly. Okay. And we need that block to be unpowered. The one thing is, you've got wait, both wait. of these redstone torches. But wouldn't blue... Oh no, we should extend green. Wouldn't blue turn this torch off, though? This one in the middle, because it's extending this block, and therefore... No, blue no, is... we need to find a way Blue to... is right here. We need to find a way to turn that off. But it's... What's powering is... Oh, wait. that torch is the one that we need to turn off, wait. so... Turn off... Turn off green. Turn off green for a second. Turn off green. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that didn't turn that off at all. 
So how would we want Does that to... not even do anything? What does green even oh, do? I turn off white, turn off white. No, 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 when you stay on. green and white. Well. <laughs> what we do? Oh, wait, what? I'll tell you what we did. What I did is that it deactivated this because this was active. Because white being active was what was what was keeping this torch active. By turning off. Oh, so we need to turn off both green and white as opposed to keeping both of them yeah. on. How many okay. spirit orbs did he get? I have two. Okay. Do you have one? I don't have any. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go find and then, the is there anything under here? Not sure. No. Okay, well, there's sand. I will just take the sand, though. Don't worry. Sound a wagon. Have a pleasant rest of your day. I do want to find a... Uh... Thanks. See ya. What is this, dude? Some kind of savanna creeper. Okay. I'm gonna put a bed down and skip the night. Sick. Then we can go fight the Nine Tails. Wonderful. Alright, so he is... In that... The box. other, the exact opposite direction. Yeah. Alright. That little stable is where he's is. So, just gotta go over there. Yo, found a giant werewolf thing. God damn. Oh, there are goodness. so many enemies over here. Holy shit. Yeah, I think... Let's see if I can pull him or knock back him into the water there. Oh my goodness, more Wilbin. It's gotta nice. be kidding me. Oh, is this him? Yeah, that guy. Don't open it up yet. Don't open it up yet. I'm not opening it up. I'm like, I was just thinking of sniping him. Okay, well... Ah, shit. Just jump out. Yeah, we're gonna put the bed up on top of here. Why can't I move? Because of the werewolf, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Well, first, we need to get rid of all this crap over here. I'll do that. I'll just take care of these guys outside real quick. There aren't that many of them. Beast patient. Beast patient got me beast impatient. Die. Come on. Come on. Nice. Greatsword damage is good. It's a good option for now, but only really as long as we don't have access to enchanting. Since sharpness barely does anything for it. Okay, well... That's up there. For what, your greatsword? Make, what? So for what, your greatsword? Yeah, enchantment does very little for it, since sharpness is a flat damage increase. I was opposed to percentile damage increase. Yeah. In Bedrock, it's percentile. In Java, it's flat. So, should we fight this guy inside this little area, or... All these barrels are empty. Right. Oh, he got out! He got out! Okay, well... Nantel's dead. Yep, he jumped out. Oh my goodness. Dodge my attack. Okay, but... Oh, wow. He does not have a lot of health. Okay, that's good. You snipe him and all hit him on the ground. Oh my goodness. Oh no, that's the skeleton over there. Come on. Yeah, I got the skeleton. Okay. Oh, please. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? Come on. Thank you. Okay, well... Just try to hit you again and... Is it an attack speed thing, or a... I'm gonna get back up. Okay. I need to put my mushrooms... Time for me to eat my golden there. apple. Oh my goodness, you're just gonna try to blitz him now? Funny. Yep. Okay. Oh well. Uh-oh. Yep, nine tails time. Sicko mode. Okay. Ooh. That's a cool attack. Okay, clearly he's gonna burst out or something. Maybe. Oh, okay. He's in chakra mode. Oh, please. <laughs> what are you doing? Come 
Um, okay, tentacle. Please. What? How do I? Oh, come on. Oh, what? That's some bull. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is a projectile, I guess. Okay. It's on my corpse. Nope, no. nope, nope, nope. I'm done. I'm. Okay. Alright. Wow. Oh, okay. Die, die, die. Oh, he heals on kill? Oh, that's. I mechanic. hate that. Awful mechanic. I hate that mechanic. <sighs> okay. Healing on kill is so obnoxious. Yeah. Well, it very clearly was made to discourage just doing what we're doing. Kind of camping spawn. Mm. Is he coming for me? Yep. Mm. I gotta heal up. But I guess what we should do is figure out who has aggro. And then the other person should hit him from behind. I need to heal up too, but I don't think I have anything. I have a single hamburger. Do you want mushroom stew? Please. Okay. I'd like my bowls back. Go ahead. Jesus, how many fucking mushroom stews do you- You could spare up you! Yeah, and I gave- I have 64 in total. I had 64 in total. Damn. I always stock up whenever I'm back at base. You know what? Whatever. Just gonna... Magic you. This will be fine. And when it's all done, I can go in for the kill. Oh, that is a thing acts as a shield. Okay, interesting. I think he's at least taking damage. Once he opens up, at least. Maybe. Fuck. Mana? Come on. Let's just hit you. What? Why am I being poisoned? Dude, I, I hate. Know. This offhand thing is so dumb. Mundane slime? What offhand thing? If I have magic in my offhand. Oh. On accident. Yeah, that's part of why I it, just like, don't locks use, me in place. Why I don't use my offhand. Damage is good. Bro! Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Uh, Yo, chill, bro. Come on. Okay. So he's on me right now. That's interesting. So you can try to hit him from behind, I think. I can't, because it's block. It blocks oh, it. Oh, so I it's hit him on the side. Like, what? Okay. Oh, my bad. <sighs> the two stooges. Ah. Uh. So I guess it's kind of like Gower's Ring of Protection and Dark Souls can't hit from behind. Dude, what the fuck? How are you even supposed to kill this guy? I think you're just supposed to have really good defenses. Or get really lucky with dodging his attacks. It's just... What the... I couldn't actually get away. It's nonsense. What the hell? Yeah, that just... I like had my paraglider out! It's a lag thing. It's just... I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Hmm. Just get my stake back. Maybe I'll just... Keep trying to inferno you. Sure. See if you actually take any damage. It's annoying that you can't really use your shield if you've got magic up. Oh, and it wouldn't let me change my equipped slot while I was... Wait, what? What was what? that advancement? Uh, is it because I hit the kangaroo? kangaroo? Yeah, it was. 
I wonder why that was kangaroo related. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? What? Oh, they fight back. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, but it seems like he only takes weapon damage, nothing else. That is really weird. You should be able to get him with a bow at least. I would no, I, c I couldn't. Even from the front? I, I maybe, but like, I'd have to run around and shoot him. I'd have to run around and shoot him like in the face. Yeah, you'd have to kite him. Which kind of defeat the point of the bow. Might be what we have to do. So that immobilization is really, really lame. What are you doing? Come on. <sighs> okay. At least his aim is terrible for that attack. Frankly, I feel like we should have made some flat terrain to fight him on, honestly. No, we didn't need to terraform beforehand. I, I don't know, honestly. Come on. Please, please. How do you got me so trapped? It's nonsense. Okay, whatever. What? Nice, okay. we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, maybe? Hold on, hold on, maybe. hold on. We're gonna. If, if... Tail Dart? Got him. Congratulations, I guess. Oh, it was a joint effort. What eye is that? Exotic eye. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, it's yeah, that over. was just—he just kind—he was just doing. That was weird. Yeah. Here, thank you kindly. Thank Here are your mushroom stews. Thanks. Wait, wait. Did you give the empty bowls back too? When you eat a mushroom. Oh, no, I didn't. When you eat a mushroom stew, it gives yeah, you empty bowls. Okay. Well, time to go home. And I have no experience anymore. <sighs> All right. That's how it happens. Okay. That doesn't mean it doesn't suck. No, I, I didn't mean that, like, <laughs> like, to be a dick. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, um, mm. Alrighty. I should have got that bed back. Whatever. Uh, I'm here right now. If you want me to have it, to get it. Yeah. Just grab it. You can keep it. You. I'm mean, yours. You made it. Mm. Well, what I mean is that the important thing is that one of us is a bed to place down when we fight a boss. It doesn't matter who keeps it. Well, I'm going to go to one of those Guildmaster posts whenever you feel like. Turn that in. I'm going to do the same. Yeah. And then I think I'll make another portal. So why didn't we... Why'd you want to wait to go to the Nether until we turned this quest in? Oh, because... It incre going to the nether increases world difficulty, and the only thing that's really worth going to the nether for is enchanting related stuff. Well, more in the sense that until you have access to enchanting, I don't think there's much of a point to going to the nether. In the sense that Real good armor is locked behind the nether, like I said. You know, armor that can keep up with how crazily overscaled the mobs are. That's nether stuff. Okay. But apparently there should be imp scales on the nether, and then I can make some drignies and start things for real. No, yeah, it's like I'm really... I'm getting used to this katana, and maybe I just need to go into creative... Grab a bunch of weapons and see which one I like the most. Yeah. Katana's cool. I do like the speed. But the thing about it is that... 
any weapon other than the katana can unconditionally double the damage of a single strike by jumping, jump attacking. The katana can't do that. It does get its unsheath thing, but frankly, it's just a worse version of the jump attack, in my opinion. Because you have to not attack for five seconds, and you lose that if you roll. Well, I'm, I'm used to the speed, and I'm used to the reach. That's really the main thing. Yeah. Spears are good, too. Spears are kind of like that writ large, honestly. Pretty worth using, in my opinion. If you find a good one you'd like to use. So, what are? Spears. No, I'm, I don't want to use a spear. Well, the way the spears work is a little different. They... You slice with a spear instead of poking with a spear. The Skeleton Lord. Yeah. Enchanting table and the smithing table. Okay, can I have the eye so I can turn on the quest? Thank you. Thank you. I also have a book that you can get. Nice. Where's Atlantis? Eighth city of Atlantis. Come on, point, not even surprised. Notoriously a violent spirit, just hire an abandoned barn. Next eye holder, nothing like the ones you faced before. Okay. Wait, what does Where's Atlantis do? It's just the the advancement we got for killing the Nine Tails. Oh, alright. Enchanting and smithing table, yay. Okay. Hmm. Skeleton Lord. That's okay. Hmm. Alright. We could go probably go kill the Skeleton Lord. But honestly, I feel like now that we No, have it, we, we have the there. Nether. Let's do all the other cool shit. Okay. I was saying that merely in an abstract sense. But, yeah, now I could... Would you like to make your own nether portal, or...? No, we can make one in the... Either make it in the town, if we're doing a group one, we're not putting it just in your base. Okay. I'm gonna if we're making a group one, but if we want to make our own separate nether portals, that's fine. Okay. Just gonna mine some of this out. Just put it right here. Okay. Go. There we go. I wonder if. It's real. It's funny. You can make or you can make a paxel out of the or or teeth, orc teeth tools. Funny. Heart is a paxel. Pickaxe, axe, shovel, multi tool. It's just not worth using because it's only iron. Okay, you can't do any. There's no other multi tool. Okay. All right, so now we should be doing enchanting, right? Yeah. It's possible now. I'm just going to put this nether portal right here. Okay. Actually, I should have... Uh, oh, whatever. Make a door and... Hmm. All right. Actually... Well, that's going to look kind of silly on the outside, but I don't care at this point. Don't really care. Uh, actually, I don't, know. I don't know. Whatever. Get some obsidian now and fix all that up. Okay. Get one, two, three, ten obsidian. How much do I have right now? Got. Did I, put, did I put it in ore? Did I put it in ore or stone or okay, I have fifteen obsidian. Alright. Go and make my nether portal. Two. Two. Come on. Cool. Just fill this back in with some archwood. Make a 
couple of doors, I guess. So I can seal it off. Sending zombie pigman to side of mosey on through or something. Oh yeah, come to my base when you get a chance so I can give you this book. Okay. Did you get multiple? Or so make and then ten door. Or... Okay. Yeah, I did, I got multiple. Oh nice. Just wouldn't want to deprive you. Didn't need to take that, because this makes multiple. That's right. Come on. Just put this back. Put that back. Okay. Up. Door, door. Okay. Door to the nether. Inferno enchanting. Oh, nice. Congratulations. And... And actually, I think it might be time to start building my tower up more. Nice. Well, I've made my nether portal. Right behind that door. Well, that set of two doors. The tutors. Hmm. I'll just put that back in there. Oh, they're remaking Sonic Generations, weirdly enough. They're adding Shadow as a playable character with his own set of levels. You're somebody or something. Oh, it's... Oh, an Iceologer. I don't feel like that. I don't feel like this. And it's just gonna hit the ceiling. Wait, what? Going back to your house. Okay, I'm here. Okay. No. Checking this out. Oh, you made an agronomic source link. That's cool. Um. I'm right here. I won't run away. There it is. Thank you. I'm down here with you. Oh, I don't know. All right, come up here. Oh my goodness. Okay. There it is. Thank you. I completely forget where I got that. Blue um, I, was, I talked to some it. guy. Okay. Oh, Blue Sky's population. Ever bright and ever dawn. The gatekeeper. Okay. Hmm. It's an interesting place. Ever bright portal. Turquoise stone bricks. That could have snow and spirit. Ever dawn. Lunar stone. General. We got turquoise stone though. Turquoise stone. From turquoise dripstone. Oh, uh, I don't know if you knew this. Lava doesn't regen, or it doesn't uh, destroy items. Oh, okay. For some reason. That's interesting. All right then. I am going to. Probably make some more mushroom stew. How much blackstone do you have? None. I can say that off my off the top of my head because I've never mined any yet. I'd have to go to the Nether. Hmm. I keep forgetting I have that steak. Okay. Oh, all right. Barely anything in here. A couple of gems I could use. Another spirit orb and mob drops, mob drops. I'll keep them there. Three spirit orbs, guys. Almost to four. Okay. Necrotic splendor. A smithing table is what used for gems, by the way. In case you wanted to know. Stuff in the inventory. Let's put that bow in there. Okay. But, yeah, use the smithing table for gems. But you also need items with sockets, which some named items. We'll have sockets, 
but not all of them. But you can make a socketing sigil. But that takes netherite and some other things, so... It takes a bit. Oh, Talking to the word apotheosis. Apotheosis is organized into modules. This content of the book. Disabled modules are hidden. Recommending adventure module. The adventure module allows you to gear up with procedurally generated loot items to cover bosses. Books. Critical strike. Boon of the Earth. Let's see. Critical strike is critical. Burst at strike is it? Oh, so all of those, like iron forged iron leggings of gravity, is apotheosis. All of those. Yeah. Okay. Those are apotheosis items which you can crush with an anvil to get rare. No, you make make a salvage table. You can crush gems with an anvil to get gem dust. With critical. Enchanting modules are responsible for all the changes to the enchanting system. There's a lot of content, so look around. Enchanting table. So she goes over the enchant changes to the enchant yeah, enchanting power. You send experience and life. So, 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 power the enchantment selected. It's the enchanting power. There's horns in there. Stripped horn, big horn. Little big horn. Silver bullet. Would that kind of weapon this or... I've been putting that in mob drops. Have I? Silver bullet. Okay, no, I put those in here. Okay. Come on. Mob drops. Mob drops. Ooh. Food in there. Enchanted book. If you want to use life mending, you're free. I don't have much interest. What's life mending? Cons it instead of getting healed when you get healed, your gear gets mended. Mm. That's interesting. To, if that sounds interesting to you, I'm more than happy to give you any and all life mending books I have. Also, if you didn't know, you can combine enchanted books to make them stronger if they're the same level. You can merge them. It's it's a possibility we're thinking about. something available yeah the bloodborne stuff isn't all that useful but i think i will probably make a chica get or something eventual and level it up just because otherwise there's nothing to do with it okay, put that lantern in there 28 28 okay that's Lots and lots of mushrooms. Roll bowl and... Okay, cool. If you don't mind, I'm gonna take my own little trip into the nether now. Go ahead. Okay. Difficulty is about to go on up. Oh my goodness, I'm just... Hasn't loaded in yet. Looks like I'm falling. It's gonna be a little cutscene or something, or... Okay, I was just loading in. Crimson Forest. Incendium. Feel the light and enter. Terrifying and rewarding Incendium Nether. Oh, it spawned in on top of a... Top of a tree. Oh, this is a Nether Wart tree. Oh, wow. That's new. That's base Minecraft, by the way. No, these are nether wart blocks. Nether wart blocks in nether wart trees, vanilla Minecraft. Wait. Oh, those are the huge fungi. Okay. Yeah. Oh, weird. Okay. Well, I guess I haven't found anything new yet. Okay. 
Is there a map I can make here? Oh, Antique Atlas works in the Nether too. That's fun. I should probably mark my portal location. There's something over there then. Nether squid. Okay. What? What? Huh? Oh my goodness. It's shooting at me. What the hell is that? Is what? Nothing. Just gonna... Portal. Okay. Come on, come on. Probably actually keep my warp stone in my... Yeah. Alright. Well, okay. I want to find a blaze. And another fortress. Luckily, having the super jump does make getting around the nether a lot easier. Significantly easier. It's just so far above everything that I don't even see any lava. And I will say that things do honestly look more than a little weird. Since glowstone was retextured to look like lamps. That is a little strange and off-putting. Hmm. Nether fortress. Where could you be? Also imps. Where could imps be? Something floating and what? I got webbed by something. Oh no, I just... Some kind of bug latched onto me. Giant mosquitoes. What? Oh, nightmare feel. Oh, you have to hit them with... Without epic fight. Uh, oh, weird. Okay. Aw. Nightmare fuel. Aw. Okay. But a single swing like that will take him down. A crimson mosquito. Aw. Okay. Said I think. I think it's time to switch this gear out and repair it. Is that another mosquito I hear? I swear. Come on. Let's crap this all together. It's all together. Need a better spell book. Okay. Well, okay. Come on. Where do I go and how? <sighs> Going to... Go back over to- oh, please. Ah, get away from me. What do I need to do to get rid of these mosquitoes? Is there bug repellent or something? Bug spray? Oh lord. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go onto this little island and see where that will take me. Mm hmm. Just gonna glide as far as I can glide and is that a infernal dunes okay so what is this a druid firestorm oh my goodness pipe dream oh a pipeline with sentry blazes infernal dunes craft the nether oh oh incendium infernal dunes wait a channel library storage just a purchase Sorry, Jericada, and oh, is this? Oh, oh wow! Magic. Enchantment libraries are a godsend. What about them in particular? So basically, enchantment libraries, instead of carrying around all these books, you can just throw in a book to an enchantment library, and it'll deconstruct the oh. enchantment from the book and store the enchantment in oh, the library. Wow. Each library has a level capacity representing the highest level of enchantment it can store. Oh, Excess please. enchantments are Come voided. The Sentry Blaze. Okay, this is not any different from a normal blaze, it seems. Oh, please. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! Okay, why are you so hard to hurt? What are you doing? This is weird. Unlimited An enchantment power. library. Level capacity 16. Unlimited power. 
Oh, it has a lightning attack? Okay. All right. Interesting. The Library of Alexandria has a level capacity of 31. Oh, okay. It must be created using infusion Is enchanting. Infusion enchanting. Okay, well, time to use my warp stone and go home. Let's just put these down. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll stay away from those places for now. Don't know what that pipeline leads to. I wonder how different a normal nether fortress will be. I feel like capturing a wither skeleton would be helpful eventually. Just to passively get wither skeleton skulls. Which are an item that helps with apotheosis enchanting, by the way. You can get a bit more of your sort of values that way. As in... Eterna, Quanta, Arcana, one of those. Forget which. Infused house. So ender chests are literally... Oh, it's obsidian and an I am ender. Oops. Warp block. Wait. Red nether bricks. Twisting crushing. I can crush and create nether warp blocks into nether warp. But there doesn't seem to be any other method of conversion. Hmm. Okay. Wait, where was I? Huh. So you can only put 15 bookshelves around a thing, I guess. Well, that's the limit for basic bookshelves. If you mix and match the kind of bookshelves you use... Or infused hell shelves are different. Well, you can only put 15 types of sh types of things around No, you can only it, put 15... There's a limit to the n amount of each value you can get from a single kind of shelf. But there's no limit to the number of shelves you can have. Actually, there is. But it's everything in a sort of 5x5, five five, too high, empty square around. Which means you can have up to... 36... Up to 32 bookshelves or bookshelf-like bookshelf -like items contributing to one enchantment table. Why 32? Because that's the most you can get in a too high... 5x5 five five and hollowed out square around one enchantment table. Right, yeah. So it's. Oh, uh, what? Come on. Uh, it's not just what 30? Are these mosquitoes doing? What do you mean 30? Oh, well, I guess. Doesn't hit the... Oh, because you need to make a space for you to enter the thing. No, you don't. I mean, you can, but you don't have to. You can just jump in from above and jump back out. And all of those bookshelves will contribute. I mean, there's something about feasibility for, you know, you to use as a player. But in terms of what will actually interact with the enchanting table... Does there need to be, a, like, a one-block space around the enchantment table, or can you just put a a bookshelf right up next to it. It does have to be spaced out. From and it can't be three. It can't be three high at all. It can't be three high. Propel How do you know that? Testing. Propel plant cave. Okay. Weird. Well, it's, that's kind of annoying that I can only get the best in chance by locking myself in the thing. Eventually, when you get better shelves, you won't have to. And also... No, but you said that 32... Having 32 things... I'm trying to fit... Basically, I'm trying to find out wh what kind of space I should make for, like, to have an enchantment table. I would like say... Like an enchantment place. 5 by 5 Too high. That's the maximum amount of space you can even use in the first place, so there's no reason to use any more. 
And once you get access Oh, to well, I would hope to make something, like, less than that. That's my point. Well, until you get the best shelves possible, you won't really be able to downsize, and even then. Okay. I'm gonna find another fortress. I hate those mosquitoes so much. I need to find another fortress. Also that pipeline over, but oh, there's some gold ore. Cool. How can I afford to actually take out of my hotbar? Weird. Blood sack. What can I make with a blood sack? Make a blood sprayer. <laughs> okay. Oh, loyalty. Interesting. Well, nether gold ore, and that's just... Okay, just gold nuggets. That's fine. Hmm. My iron axe. I need a good bunch of shit. I'll bring all my other iron axes. Okay. I want eight stacks. 21 nuggets. Hmm. Damn it. It's just... Nether roof does look more than a little weird like this, I will say. Crimson skeleton. And... Guess I could grab some quartz. Cool. Hmm. Nylium. Yeah, we'll take some quartz. Main thing is, I just want to find blaze rods so I can... I mean, blazes so I can get a couple blaze rods and upgrade my... Spellbook. That's really what motivates me at the moment. Decent amount of gold here in the nether, at least. Won't complain about that. Hmm. No reason to have a bed here at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Good thing I've got these backpacks, at least, but it's just going to be... How am I going to want to find netherite? Well, I think the big thing is just going to be... There is an explosion glyph. And that's only level 2. It's not even level 3. I'll probably just go down. Oh, I think I might actually like to go to an ocean monument to find some sponges to make evaporate uh, and get rid of lava. Evaporate gets rid of lava? Yeah. Gets rid of all liquids. That rules. I mean, you really need to turn up the AoE a lot of the times. A lot of the time. And also, you want to put sensitive on it so it can interact with liquids, because usually... It can only interact with solids, which severely decreases its usefulness, but... Oh, meaning it has to hit a block that currently has water on it, I guess? Yeah, it has to hit a block, and then it'll do it on that block or on the AoE. Which isn't horrible, but... Come on. Just... It's mosquitoes... On this plane. Okay. I'm tired of these mosquitoes on this Monday to Friday plane. Oh, please. Getting me in the air, too. Absolutely unfair tactics. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. You just die already. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I'm never going to... Okay, nether waste. It's just... There's probably some kind of item you can craft that which will point you in the direction of a fortress or something. I would guess. Basalt. Hmm. Well, alright. What can I even put in at the moment? Well, I don't really use bandages, honestly, at all. Just here lies Moosh and Eigen. In that case, I'll probably just teleport back and see if I can still get my corpse. Go back inside from this side and Yeah. Probably need to go diamond mining soon, honestly. Looks for some more diamonds, cause 
Quite frankly, I don't have any more. I used all of them to make that great sword. That great sword is getting kind of low durability wise. So. Oh, please. Hi. Get away from me. Stupid, stupid mosquito. Uh, well, going around this way is helpful. Just gotta avoid that wither attack. So there was a pipeline over here. Pipeline of some sort. The Keystone Excel pipeline. Deeply unpopular. Okay. Well, alright. Paraglide over. Paragliding really has been useful and helpful. Has been nice. Make sure I don't get nuked by the lightning. Maybe. Oh, this pipeline is going multiple ways. Alright. Oh, Sentry Blaze is right here. Hi. Oh, Senupas Un Blaze. Distinguish a pipeline sentry. So it's not actually a blaze. Okay. My corpse is gone, so clearly it didn't drop anything meaningful. What are pipelines? Well, they're pipes in the nether made of concrete. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Is that a normal blaze or a... Pray to God that these are... I think these are normal blazes. I think normal blazes just spawn in this biome. Seems that way to me, at least. Come on. Light sensitive. I think that's a blaze rod. I think that's a blaze... Oh, good god. No, it means you gotta... Redstone dust? What? That makes no sense. Come on. I like the way the shield works. Imp range? What? Come on. Don't tell me that they only sometimes drop blaze rods here. Oh, please. Do that? What? What? Oh, come on. I'm getting absolutely murdered. Desert Blaze. No home. Well, it appears that blaze rods do not drop from all blazes. That it might only be fortress blazes. Desert Blaze. Minecraft. Ah, uh, desert blazes, and they never drop rods. Blaze blood. Fortress not in A. Oh, okay. Yeah. Desert blazes don't drop rods. Only blazes and fortresses drop rods. Weird. But apparently, that was also maybe something they actively changed. And what I hear. Well, okay. 300 seconds of cooldown. So I forgot to sleep in my own bed. How are you doing? I am purely mining out a shit ton of blackstone so I can increase the height of my tower. Okay. I'm gonna warp back to my base, see if there was anything useful on my corpse, and then look for a fortress because. There are multiple kinds of blazes that basically are not blazes in this mod pack. As mm -hmm. funny as that might sound. Back to the rise. Come on. Come on. Okay, 
respawn point. So, it's back to the nether. Okay. Did find one of those imps in that nether desert biome. It was actually kind of nice. It's like I said, for us to do that drigmy stuff, we need some imp scales. Yeah, I think started by making our first Drigme charm. But then once I do that, I can just name and teleport an imp. <laughs> and passively get imp scales that way. And then none of that garbage will matter. Ah. Should be over this way. Yeah, it should be. Crimson Skeleton. Okay. I still might check my skeleton wasn't crimson. Maybe I should change that. Maybe I should work on that. It sounds like a me problem. King Crimson, dude? It just works. Did you ever try getting into JoJo? I tried... But I was told... I was just gonna watch them all in order, because I don't want to miss anything. Mm. They're, and they're part faster. one bored the fuck out of me. Yeah, honestly, they're a lot faster to just actually read. Yeah, but I'm not gonna spend all the money on the manga. And then pirate it. <laughs> oh, fair. But <sighs> there, there are multiple readers online where you can just find the stuff. I mean, it, they're, it's very cheesy. I like the stuff. It definitely isn't for everyone. And the new stuff is arguably... I wouldn't say weirder. But it's a lot different from what it originally was. And to be fair, stands didn't even come into being until part... Three, part right? Three, yeah. But, oh my, what is... Oh, wow. That's... What the hell? I'm pretty sure that's an Elden Ring reference. Yeah, that's an Elden Ring reference. That thing is crazy. Because there are giant weird skeleton things in Elden Ring. Oh, come on. Where do you go? Oh, please. Let me get out of here. Aw. That is profoundly strange. Come on, and I'm burning to death. <sighs> Don't know how that happened, but I'm very nearly dead. Huh. And my pants are almost broken. That's new. Ripped pants. Big Larry came round just to put him down. SpongeBob turned into a. What What do you think about ripped pants? Would you ever dance with someone with ripped pants? I mean, it wouldn't be my first option, but if I had to. Mm. Had to in what sense? Act of compulsion. Yeah, or if like they they're feeling real down because mm. they ripped their pants and turned into a clown. Yeah, understandable. That's pretty altruistic of you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I try and be I try and be a model, you know. The tracking Role model. on that wither dust attack. It's kind of crazy. Uh. What am I supposed to be doing? My pants are broken. That's not good news. My pants is broke. My goodness. Well, I need to find... I need to find blaze rods somewhere. It takes... Let's see how much it takes to make that spell book. Spell book. Takes, takes, wait, wait, 
Mage of Spellbook, two Blaze Rods, three Diamonds, one Obsidian, two Quartz Blocks, which we already had anyway, and two Blaze Rods. Let's see, two Blaze Rods. We find a fortress somewhere. So many of these withered skeleton demons that don't even drop anything meaningfully useful. Just come on. Couldn't be that troublesome. Is that a hellhound? It's a foxhound. I wonder if I can tame those. Oh, what? Okay. Well, yep, they are aggressive. Okay. Seem like more of a hellhound than a foxhound, but whatever. Oh, it's a foxhound, but it's just in hell. My goodness. That's too easy. Also, I'm pretty sure it's very specifically on the nose for a reason. Interesting. They do have pretty big, pretty, pretty long noses, so. Who an alchemist? Are they Jewish? Sorry. Do not say that. <laughs> Good God. It's just a thing! Cannot avoid. I try, I try so hard to not say anything controversial. The Jews having long noses isn't controversial. It's like saying Italians have big noses. I feel like Just I, a thing. I feel like I'm honestly going to have to not upload this VOD at this point. <laughs> That's not racist. It's, an, it's a thing. Jewish... Or, racially Jew Jewish people... I'm looking for another fortress. Hellish Paradise, Quartz Flats. Beautiful and Nether Skeleton, what? Baby, elite baby skeleton. Now I'm just gonna feel bad. Okay. Not enough mana. Come on. Jerk. <laughs> I just ran away from it. I didn't want to kill it. Okay. Lots and lots of piglins. No reason to fight them yet, though. It's just... <sighs> They added so many new biomes, which is diluting. It's, oh, it's white nether. Okay, well, get down here. Turn onto the floor and what is, oh! They changed the noises gas make. It's such a dumb change. To, make to be sweet. fair, the noises that they did make was kind of awful. Well, it's kind of the point, is that making them more stereotypically scary is... misses the point. What do you mean misses the point? Well, the fact that gas literally make cat noises. Gas noise is recorded from a cat. It makes sense. Yeah. It's an weird and annoying. Yeah. And being weird is good. It's not just a stereotypical kind of hell. There's more creativity. In yeah, that. but that's this is modded Minecraft, not vanilla Minecraft. Oh, yes, I'm aware, and I'm saying that... Regard mods or not, one is a better aesthetic choice than the other. Well, maybe they're going for a different aesthetic because it's modded and they want to make it a little more serious. You can be you, know what I mean? you, you can be serious without being stereotypical. Frankly, I think a lot of people just have a pretty poor sense of aesthetics. But that's just me. Fair. Uh, I need to get... Okay. Let me see. What do I need to make in the hell shelf? Hell shelf. Hell shelf. Blazing hell shelf. Diffused hell shelf. A quanta. Hell shelf with... Least shelf with mm. potion of regeneration, blaze rod ends. I just need to find another. How did you get up here? 
Up where? The zombies can climb. Oh, you're talking to the zombie. I thought you were talking to me. No. Yeah, why would that ever happen? Uh, what the hell? Imp range. Okay. What? Exploded. There's always exploder. I need a key. Oh, they just, yeah, they just throw grenades. Okay. Weird. I just... <sighs> you need to find another fortress and kill a couple of blazes. That's all I'm asking for. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got Blackstone over here. Somebody's throwing... Okay, more imps. Oh, you know what? Basalt Delta. Delta? Okay. Is that... Okay, that's not a fortress. It's a bastion remnant. Those were the days. Oh my goodness. That's interesting. I don't want to fight these piglins right now, but... It's good to know where this is for later. I guess if I really wanted to, I guess I could try looting some ancient debris from there. Maybe. It's pretty far from here. See that much. Bastion. Okay. Sebastian. The lobster from The Little Mermaid. It's just... I'm wondering which biomes... Okay, Ash Barrens. Sendium Nether. What I'm wondering is if there are specific limitations to which biomes Nether or fortresses can spawn in. Because that would at least tell me where to look and where not to look. Come on. Okay, die already. I really do could not care less at this point. Uh, sure, maybe I'll kill a magma cube. Yeah, okay, that damage is capable. Jump. Jump. Come on. Die, die, die. Come on. I wonder what I can really do with this magma cream, though. Oh, okay, more piglins. Come on. Okay. So they don't take a lot of damage to kill. Running away, okay. Do that. I have found a surprising amount of magma cubes. Said I got... All of one magma cream. <sighs> All right. I don't even know if piglins can drop pork chops. Cause I know they can. Okay, because I knew that pigmen could drop pork chops, but I didn't know whether or not they changed that when they changed them from pigmen into piglins. Piglins, honestly are the best, in my opinion, the best source of food like that. Fair. At least when you're in the nether. Wait. Did that imp just vanish? No, it's down there. Okay, let me see. Did I get anything of note? I did not get a single thing from that imp. Okay. Okay. Nothing to do but keep on going and hope that a nether, for nether fortress shows up. Decides to show up. Uh, some Geiger counter sounding noises here. Kinda. It's flats. Here's something. 
let's just what can I frankly the fog is causing some rendering issues well some lag that is not really rendering issues come on let's just get up on this side we good number of blaze rods and abscond Frankly, I should have taken a waypoint with me, but can't do anything about that now. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't even take any blocks to tower up with, because I'd gotten so used to just using paraglider and super jump. This should still be fine, but... Oh, come on. But yeah. Looks so silly with these as... Uh, okay. And oh goodness, I used up all my mana. But yeah, things are things are lagging a bit. I feel like I might want to install Optifine or something similar client side. Is that another Bastion Remnant? Is that the one I that is not the Bastion Remnant I was at before. I think. Maybe. What is this? Another bastion or a fortress? Okay, this is pretty clearly just another bastion. A lot of blackstone here if you want it. No, I've got more than enough for a quarry. Okay. Okay. The particle effects are absolutely blowing stuff up. Okay. Oh, good god. Not the hoglin. Come on. Hoglins. Uh, no, those are what drop pork chops. Yeah. I thought you said. I, is that what, that was what you were talking about, right? No, I was talking about the piglins. All right, no matter then. No, well, Hoglins drop pork chops. Those okay. are the, that's what I thought. Oh, just like the warthogs in Hoglin line. Oh, they actually drop a different meat in the mod pack. Interestingly enough. Oh, but I'm just gonna hide out here. It appears that as of right now, my search has been kind of not great. But there are lots of blocks of gold up here to just grab. It's nice. Oh, please. That one fell. That's not great. Come on. Come on. Oh, great. Funny adventure music is playing now. Good. Please. Blinded by oh. nostalgia. Come on. And a potion. Splash Potion of Fire Resistance. Oh, please. Please. Read the four is above it. Just, it's gotten so laggy. Come on. Uh, well, I guess I'll just get on top of this little thing and mine some more gold. This, my hope at this point is that their blaze rods is on loot somewhere in this bastion. So that's what I came to the nether for. Just, well, those gold blocks fell. Okay. Come on. Well, let's just see how... Okay. Those fell down and they didn't drop in the lava, which is nice. Couple potions. Oh, goodness, but I... That's why I shouldn't have done that. Because that skeleton demon. Okay. Well, whatever. Whatever. Die. Did not mean to wither. Did not mean to wither. Okay. Time to find a way to get back on top. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
Need better armor. Need better armor. It's just, until I get level 2 spellbook, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna actually do it? Okay, well, I can get back up on top of some of the bash in this way. Don't notice me. It's not flight, but it is a superior mode of locomotion. Hmm. Okay. Well, you're right here. Do your thing. Come on. Wait, what? How was... What was hitting me? What was even hitting me? Weird. Oh, it must be someone shooting flaming arrows through that lava. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Die. Okay. Luckily, the pig ones aren't that hard to kill, which is nice. I'm going to go kill this piglin alchemist. Come on. Die. Oh my goodness. The one thing that is more forgiving about this mod pack than souls very specifically is that you don't re regenerate less stamina while holding a shield up. Because that is one thing that souls does very specifically. That but, is so annoying. Oh my god. What? Obnoxious. Or do, do, having to, like, you're, you can't even hold a shield up. I mean, it makes sense. Well, that's entirely the point, is that you have to use a shield strategically. You can't just always turtle. And shields are really good. You almost certainly want to be using a shield. But it means that you can't just use it with impunity. You have to hold it up for when you really need it. Desecrating. What did that drop? Got a spear fishing bug? Funny. Okay. Well, time to descend into more of this bastion, I guess. See what I can get. Okay. Try this out. And what is that? Some kind of crate or war pigs. Oh, 100% necrotic gem. Leather and... Oh, a lodestone. Oh, I can make a socket with that eventually. Epic. Ah, oh, violent iron sword of surgical precision. Crit. Oh, and it has a socket too. Well, I'll scrap that eventually for parts. Okay, normal bow, golden boots. Fire protection might be nice, maybe. Maybe. Well, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I was here before, I think. Mm. Mm. Come on. Oh, one tapped. Nice. Foam spring over there. Aw. Aw. So how do I wanna how do I wanna do this? I don't wanna do this. Back over here. Well, got you down, and dropped. Oh, one of those is... has an epic affix. That's funny. Totally random, too. Come on. Get closer. And no magma creams, but whatever. That's whatever. Ah. Those ones are doing damage, but... Huh. How do I get... Where are you? Little magma cube. Ugh. Get closer. Get back here. Get your drops before they fall in the lava. Okay. Die, and we got a critical burst book. Not bad. Hmm. So I need to descend into this bastion. Remnant. In search of great loot. Huh. Well. Just 
jump down here. Down this way and glide around. Oh, hello. Hello. Hmm. Actually, let's push you. Let's push you. Goodbye. Was there another? I think there was. Okay. Hmm. Alright. They don't deal that much damage, which is nice. Oh, come on. Goodbye. I'm just gonna <laughs> push them off. No qualms. Hmm. Huh. So descending into this bastion. Descending into this bastion. Well. Does not appear like... Oh, ground level's over there, though. Hmm. That might be what I need to do. Oh, foam springs back. Come on. Gotta be... Oh, now they're fighting each other. That's nice. Samuel the Pitmaster. Come on. Oh, okay. He's not that bad, but his attacks do hit hard. Let me see. Just... Oh, okay. Try to... Oh! God damn it! I fell in lava. In that case, I'm gonna take a pee break. I'll be back.
back. What's up? I'm alright. I think I'm actually gonna go back and try to kill that piglin boss guy. Because he didn't do all that much damage. That said, and also the best way to get... Oh! Hajime Mashenshi! Long time no see, Steel Dam Sakura. We are playing Domcra Dawncraft, which is an RPG mod pack for Minecraft. I just died fighting a boss in the nether, and now I'm going back to try to avenge my defeat. And maybe loot... Yeah, yeah! How have you been doing in the meantime? And the rest of the family. Okay. It's just... Okay, so down there. It's actually mostly... What? Oh, not one of these guys again. I don't want to deal with this. Right, super jump, super jump, super jump. And it's so funny, because... That literally is just taken directly from Elden Ring. Oh, nice! Which area took him the longest, would you say? Because I try to do everything in order, just because I'm like that. So the last one... Well, actually, I got a lot of Girdle of the Sands before all the others, just from... Doing stuff during the quest line, but I waited until I was <sighs> done with other areas to really complete complete it. Oh, the pyramid! What was his favorite part? What's your favorite part? Because I would say that either the initial jungle area or the first desert area is probably the best. Just because <sighs> the jungle area has so much interconnected. And since almost all of it is gated after the world quest, that leads to some good things and some bad things. You know, because on one hand, they had a lot of integration with, you know, the songs you can learn on the lyre and being able to use those to interact with the world. Oh, oh okay, so he's, a, he's an NPC heavy area guy. I respect that. But what I really liked was how the songs you can learn from the lyre had a lot of world interaction effects in the first, you know, in Samara Jungle, which was all added at once. But, let's see if... Yeah, all the gold blocks are still in there. But that said, that does mean that unless you've done... Aranyaka, you really can't interact with all that much. You know, and I was kind of fine with that because I, well, did Aranyaka pretty early on before really doing any other exploration. And, you know, as someone who really likes... Oh! Oh, so he hadn't even done Fontaine Archon Quest yet. Well, that's crazy. How is he liking it? How far has he gotten there? I'm gonna try something creative. Okay, okay. What are you looking for? I wanna see if I can make a 4x4... Four four, instead of a 5x5 five five square too high... I want to see if I can make a 4x4 four four square 3 high, but put the enchantment table in the middle of those three. Wait. Okay. Oh, oh. I respect that. What I mean? Yeah. Good luck. I'm not sure how that would work, but if it works, it works. I wish you luck. But yeah, that's what I tried to do with... You know, I went and cleared out all of Samara 100% before I did... Fontaine, but that was, you know, easy for me to say, because I did that before Fontaine came out. Yeah, I respect that patience. I hope he was at least able to get event stuff done. I hope he at least didn't have to skip events to do that. Oh, oh okay. How is he liking that? I would say that... <sighs> to be totally honest, and it sounds really so funny to say that, say this, but... Even though I feel like, overall, the Mondstadt Archon Quest was one of the weaker ones, it had the best ending just because it was a simple enough story that didn't have to tie up that many loose ends. Oh, oh. Why specifically? Is it a gameplay thing, a taste thing, personal experience? I will say that... In the end, as fun as Fontaine is, and as much as I like how new it is, I think I prefer Samaru in the end. In the specific sense that... Oh, and okay, well, my helmet broke. That's not good. The underground exploration was a lot more interconnected and labyrinthine, 
And it wasn't as freeform as Fontaine's underwater stuff was, but I actually kind of preferred that because it meant it had more structure. And, you know, they could play around with controlling your movements for the sake of set pieces and the like. I will say that, you know, you know, Jet's a fun character to begin with, but I feel like Golden Slumber was just a very, very well-made questline in general. Specifically because... It staked its claim very, very heavily on the strength of the first Sumeru Desert area's underground exploration, which I really enjoyed going through, especially because things like the clearance mechanic and the glinting components you got from random enemy drops, there was... There was a real sense of progression and a real sense of backtracking in a good kind of way. And, you know, given that the game has teleport waypoints, the backtracking wasn't nearly as bad as it is in, you know, some other games. But that's exactly why it's good for them, in my opinion, to do things that require backtracking. Oh, oh, he just doesn't like blue. That's legitimate. Blue used to be my favorite color back when I was really young, but it, that hasn't been true for a long time, honestly. I can't even say like everyone's my favorite. favorite color. Fair. Eh. I don't know. In my opinion, there are much, much dumber reasons to dislike something. But, as I was saying, as I was saying... Oh, oh, okay. What was I saying? What are these obsid obsidian spikes over here, too? Weird. There's, oh, something just tried to blow me up. Okay. So where is... Okay, so the Bastion should be close to here. But... I'm just excited for Natlan. It's very interesting... How... Marvelous Merchandise did not tell us anything about Natlan. Personally, I think, and I've thought this for a while... That... They rewrote pretty much everything about Notlon when the game got a lot of international popularity. You know, because they realized that, you know, if people outside of just... You know, if they had an international audience, you know, there would be more sensitivity to things like, you know, the portrayal of other cultures. And, you know, that they would actually have to, you know, try to make things a lot less stereotypical. And I think that might ultimately be for the better in the long run. But it's almost certainly part of why we know basically nothing about Natlan. It's literally one NPC in Inazuma, one NPC in Fontaine, and New Viet at the end of the Oricon Quest. And other than that, the only things we know about that are from the comic, which came out five years ago. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, but... I do have high hopes for it. And, you know, I'm a little biased. I just think it's really cool that apparently dragons are going to be very relevant in the lore of the area based on what Nubia had said at the end of the Fontaine World Quest. I, ho I hope I didn't accidentally spoil anything, but... I am excited. I think... I think things might end up interesting. Oh my... What? Oh, he stunned me completely and... Oh, wow. Okay. Alright. Okay. You know what? You know what? I think I might just go mining. <laughs> I... Well, actually... I've got some armor to put on in these chests. Oh, nice! Happy birthday, then. What did he get? Let me see. What can I wear? I don't want to wear anything with real affixes because I'm just going to waste, probably. Iron helmet, normal iron leggings, normal iron chest plate. Okay. Let's put this iron stuff back on. Go back into the nether, I guess. This greatsword is running low on durability. I don't like that. But once I go through, I will be able to... Ooh. I'm gonna go diagonally. Because apparently that is the best way to find nether fortresses from what I've heard. And ideally I will find a nether fortress and be able to 
get some blaze rods and upgrade my spell book and make new and better spells. We will see. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, random waypoint in the nether. Okay, that will be nice. Because I'll be able to use that to put it down by that nether fortress, probably. That said, apparently, I'm not sure if you're still on Larry, but apparently blaze spawners in this mod pack will disappear after spawning a certain number of blazes, which is interesting, I'll say. Come on. Where did you go? Mother Jendindi the Shimmering? That is one heck of a name. Oh, please. Please. Diamond shovel? Wait, what? Oh, it randomly dropped a diamond shovel? Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Wait, do not tell me. You're just gonna kill me like this. Please, please. Let's just kill, kill, kill. Oh, come on. Please. Do not. I just died to a mosquito. You've gotta be kidding me. That's embarrassing. Pretty, pretty decent amount of armor on, too. But I got a lengthy diamond shovel of quarry. Oh, cool. Is it any kind of tree specifically, or just anything you recognize, or... I mean, I guess you could just say, you know, a tree's a tree, but... I don't know. I don't know. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. Frankly, I should have guessed. Does it have any kind of colored engraving filigree inlay, or is it just all steel? I mean, because at the very least, you could stand it a darker color than the rest or something. That's cool, though. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Other way, that's a cool gift. Again, happy belated birthday to you. Probably. Unless it already happened and you just got the gift early. I mean, unless it hasn't happened yet and you just got the gift early. Wait, so where did... Where did I die then? Oh, wow. Well, in that case, that just tells you how much you mean to him, so... There you go. So where is... Up on which tree? Where is... People in Alchemist? <laughs> Wait, did you cut out, or... Are you okay? Mm -hmm. No, I'm fine. Oh, okay. You just you, you made an interesting noise for a second there. It's because I sneezed. Okay, bless you. Okay. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. What are all these mosquitoes just doing? It's so annoying that they can't even... What? How did... How if you're too close to them, you can't even hit them? Wait, what? Weird. Okay, so somehow, epic fight, if a mosquito latches onto you, you can't hit them in epic fight mode. You have to hit them in normal combat mode. Oh, nice. Thank you for the update. I think I asked you before, but is the, is the climate where, you at, where you're at conducive to that tree? Or... I mean, I hope. I just... I know that they grow in Japan, and that they grow in Washington, D.C., and that's about it. It's actually, I never actually got to see them, but I did take a Washington, D.C. trip many years ago when I was in 8th grade or in American middle school. I did remember hearing that they had some cherry blossom trees over in Washington, D.C., because the climate was relatively conducive to their growth, and they had been gifted by Japan. Okay. <sighs> Nothing to do but keep on gliding until I find something of relevance and of note. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so there's some of that over there, but... Oh, please. Oh, 
Piglin Village? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, and I fell in lava. But I'm not dead. That's good. Oh, the other side of one of those broken nether portals. And another guy named Corvin the Rotten. My goodness. Okay, so I touched lava once. And even in spite of that, I took most of my health in fire damage. It's not good. But I guess there are piglin villages here. That's interesting. Okay, well... well Alright, um, this sucks. What? Literally the only way that you can get a decent enchanting table set up. Not even decent. Literally the only ways that bookshelves will be able to um, reach and like affect an enchantment table is if they are in that square. Okay. Well, I mean, that's like, like... You, you can't even, like, it's either on the same level of it and a 5x5 five five square around it on the outside of that square, not Isn't the inside. Isn't that how base Minecraft works? It, I didn't know if it... I know that that's normally the setup, but I, I didn't know if that was specifically the, uh, the thing. Yeah, that's how base Minecraft works. It's so annoying, man. Mm-hmm. Well, you just got to make your little free your little free library around your enchanting table. And for what it's worth, once you get access to better shelves, well, it's like I can't have the the, the thing that's bull is that like there aren't multiple spots that I can put them so we can rearrange them. No, it has to be literally that area. Mm. If I want max enchanting, well, what if you make some hell shelves or something? I'll try to capture a blaze eventually, but what do I need for Archmage? Do you have, like, the thing that will allow you to capture a Not yet. mob? I'm saying I'll do it eventually. You know what? I think I can make... As, if I need a... As long as... If I can get a nether star, I can make the next tier. Because I have a totem of undying. Oh, from that evoker? I uh, Maybe. They only drop them evokers, I'm pretty sure. But, as I was saying... As I was saying... Come on! What are you doing? Uh, the main thing is that, since containment drawers don't exist in order to capture a mob, the best way to do it would just be by warping. By warping it forcibly using a teleport scroll. Which is very doable, but you can't get blink and the ability to force teleport until you get the max level spellbook. How is... <sighs> These damn mosquitoes. You can't hit them in epic fight if they're latched for whatever dumb reason. gonna break this great sword soon. Stupid. Okay. Just keep on spawning. They're not even freaky, just annoying. Keep on spawning. I don't freaking care at this point. It's just... <sighs> Honest to God. Nether fortresses are hard to find to begin with, but honestly, the worst thing is just that potion brewing takes additional blaze powder to run. And that's something that's just really obnoxious. Wither skeleton skull. Oh god, that's so annoying. Another pattern skull charge. Havoc Knight helmet. Comet curse. Power at a cost. Three. Havoc Knight. Oh. Feels off. Havoc Knight. 
Havoc. Knight. Oh my goodness. It's kind of crazy. For toughness. 12. Initium. 12. Okay. So Havoc Knight is actually a little bit better. Arguably. Interesting. It's netherite. Havoc Knight. Big. Okay. How do you... Oh, so you can just change that. Interesting. Chains. Knight armor and a block of diamond. Netherite scale. Scrap. Hmm. Boots. So that's kind of an upgrade to netherite. Hmm. At the very same time, it's also... I'm trying to think. Well, I guess I'll just go back to the nether and try to find a fortress again. This greatsword is getting a little on durability, though. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I will go diagonally the other way. It is a nice thing that paragliders do not have durability. That would be really annoying. Agreed. It's also nice that... Okay, once we get Elytra, even though that's a long way off... There's a spell you can make that allows you to just mimic the effects of Elytra at any time. Which means that you don't have to worry about Elytra durability or repair. You can also craft it and combine it with the Ignitium armor. But it frankly doesn't look all that good. How do you do that? Because it's not animated. It's just kind of a pseudo cape. Mm -mm. I don't know what the cost of the Havoc Knight armor is. This is at a cost. Havoc Knight. Knight armor Minecraft. What does that do? Effects are... What are the bad effects? Wait. What does it do? Apparently it slows you down. It does something durability use or something. That's what it seems seems like. Come on. Oh, please. But it's just... Why can't I hit? Whatever. Die. 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 Frankly, I just need to run. Oh, please. Wither Ray. Oh, please. Not to be kidding me. <sighs> Paladin boots are almost broken. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need to remember that I have a dispel spell and it's right that's eye of the depths it's on 10 combine it with night vision and water breathing okay hmm. okay all right hmm can't open my antique atlas okay no, okay you getting sleepy? No, it's just that I can't. Giant squid. Okay. Giant lava squid. I'm trying to build like a final place for my enchanting table. I don't want to have to move it. Okay. But right now. Right now, what? 
I just, I, I have to have that 5x5 five five area. No more, no less. I can't, I can't, basically I can't fit it into my tower. Oh, that's the issue. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Now I understand why it's so much of an issue. I, like, I would rather just be like, oh, as long as there are 30 books, or 32 books within this range, it'll be fine. Okay. Because that could be kind of cool. I could just, like, set my things down and then have them across the room. Well, the thing about a maximum of 32 books within any real area is that there would have to be some sort of system to determine priority if there are more than that. You could just make it so that, like, the limit would... Like, sure, it'll help, but it's not like... It's not about drawing it from specific bookshelves. It's about having a limit of how much you can take in. Well... Like how much of the enchanting boosts or whatever. You could just have a cap on it. Right? Well, that already is technically true. Yeah, so you could just say, hey, you can have an unlimited amount of books in this bookshelves in this range. It's just... No, what I mean is that there are limits for every for every individual type of bookshelf. There are limits to how much of each sort of Eterna, Quanta, Arcana you can get yeah, from uh, a single one. Uh, yeah, so it exists in that aspect. Exactly. So if I try and make 30 just regular bookshelves, it's not going to work. It's only going to give me 15 of those, really. So why not just have that for bookshelves in general? Because there wouldn't really be a way to... I need to collect my thoughts. But essentially... Because it's a lot easier to just say bookshelves over a certain type. Because you can cap... When you're capping the number of amount of attorney you can get from just standard bookshelves after a certain point... You don't have to make any decision between multiple types of bookshelves in an area to do that. You just cap off all bookshelves of that type. But say you can only use up to like t 10 bookshelves and you have six bookshelves of one kind and five bookshelves of another. You know, which, which does the game choose to negate? How does the game make that decision? It's a different kind of decision to make. Would it not just be... The priority is how the one that gives you the most Eterna? No, because Eterna, Eterna Quanta, and Arcana are all part of the game. And all part of the system, and you want to prioritize different ones based on the situation. Well, then don't set your bookshelves up that way. Just prioritize it to have the most amount of Eterna. Or do the Eterna, then. Prioritize it based off of Eterna output. Well, that's why you didn't make the mod. Because if you had made them out, it would have worked differently. Oh, uh, I just hate how I can't... Uh. Well, that's... It's not an apotheosis thing. That's a base Minecraft thing. That's thing. No, yeah. No, it is. It's a base Minecraft. Because base Minecraft, it's that way. Yeah. You have to have it in that specific area, or else it doesn't yeah. work. Come on. Technically, technically, the limit isn't how much yeah, that still hit me it's not like te technically the limit is guided by the fact that you can only fit 32 um blocks in that area yeah it's a spatial limit it's not like a ca like an internal cap on that so what's the solution well make a enchantment dungeon maybe have your tower widen as it goes up instead of just getting smaller because there are a lot of things you won't be able to fit in if you just have it only get smaller wait what what else probably other mod i'm just saying that other mod stuff might also be a problem i'm not sure exactly what but if this is causing a problem other stuff might too It's just a prescience thing. Withers minion? What the hell? 
Because I found a couple of blazes. But... Okay. Weird. Hmm. Boots. 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 Okay. Uh, didn't have a great ranged option. I guess maybe I could actually take one of the bows I have. Some of the arrows I have. Alright. Hmm. You know what, you know what, you know what. I'll take that bow. Normal bow, I've just got laying around. One of them. One of them. Take that one with... Combine these two. Okay. Finally actually using a bow. Can you sleep real quick? Sure. I'm not in the nether anymore. <laughs> eh. Okay. Alright, I have an idea of what I could do. In what sense? But it require me redesigning my entire goddamn thing. Like I said, you just have to make it sort of bubble outward for at least one level. Like, I'd want to do a spiral staircase thing. Well, what you could do is you could have the spiral staircase for at least one level maybe go on the outside of the tower. That's one of the design motifs that they often... One of the things they often do in Elden Ring, actually. Oh, come on. Do not need to deal with that right now. Come on. What? Okay. Please. Hope this was the right place. Hope this was the right place. But. Come on. Come on. Pretty sure there were blazes around here. Somewhere this way. Okay. All sorts of turned around with the lack of proper landmarks, really. Come on. Where am I? That was the wrong way, too. Okay. Come on. Come on. Take that bow and try to... Try to... Kill some of those blazes over there. I think they're over here. I think they were over here. Should be. So I know I died two times around this place. I should just mark it on the atlas, but it's kind of hard to do in the moment. Hmm. All right. Jump, and is this... Is this the place? I don't think this was the place, no. Oh, well. Oh, well. Wait. Wait, wait. No, well, maybe I just need to keep going this way? Oh, goodness. I just need to find blazes. I need to kill blazes. Two blaze rods, and then I'll have what I need. <sighs> Come on. Don't tell me it can be this hard to find some actual blazes in this game. Come on. Okay. Well, we're on this side now, getting closer and closer where I died before. I think maybe just around this other side, hopefully, I should be able to find... That little blaze tower, maybe. Oh goodness, not more mosquitoes. You've got to be kidding. Uh, whatever. Trunk your fill for now. That's good news. Oh please. Don't wanna die here. I don't wanna die here. Drink my last bowl of soup. Stew, I mean. So we're getting close to where I died before, but tell whether I went to the right place or not. Make sure I have enough mana. Come on, come on. Wait, wait. Did I go to the right place or did I not? So it's over- Oh, you're kidding me! What is up with these? You know, I wonder if I actually bit the bullet and made some fists. 
whether that would be able to hit them. Come on. That was my understanding that fists have no reach. No, exactly. Yeah, that's the point, is that since fists have no reach, they might be able to hit the mosquitoes while they're still latched on. That's what I'm wondering about. This does not particularly seem to be the place. Maybe. Maybe. Huh. Well. Huh. This is looking kind of familiar. Kind of. Okay. Well. Alright. Alright. So over there or over there? Or... Getting all kinds of turned around, and I'm also literally in hell. <sighs> okay. Is this where I was? Come on. Yep, okay. This is where I was. We need to hope the blazes come back. I'm not sure they're... Okay, well, I hear them now. That's nice. Something got fireballed, and... Oh, what is that? Who is that? Is that an imp of some sort? Seems like it, and... Well, it... Whatever it dropped just burned up. That sucks. Okay. Fine, I guess. Ah... Uh... Take aim! <laughs> Took me that long to get that. Huh. The damage isn't bad, actually. Even with a standard bow. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's prepped a wither skull. Shoot that out, why don't you? Come on, in. oh my goodness. And it spawned this wither mob. Is that a... No, that wasn't anything in particular, it seems. That sucks. How can I... Force. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just... They're not even real wither skeletons. It's so silly. Fundamentally unserious. What? Oh, but if it hits me, I might get withered, but... Doesn't... Spawn... Spawn the enemy. That's... Interesting. Well, whatever. Let's dispel that effect real quick. Actually, keep that on there, maybe. There is a healing spell. There is a healing spell, but... I don't have... 24 dirt in my inventory, and that's it. So I feel like I should find a way to... Wait, do I have a place... Place block spell? I should. But it's actually coming closer to me. This might have been the way. Because if it drops its blaze rods in a lava, well, they'll be lost. And you know, this may or may not come as a surprise to you, but I don't exactly want that. Okay, emerge. Emerge. Get back here. Oh, hi. Oh, but I can just block those. Okay, interesting. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I'm on fire. I don't like that. Okay, and block that. Good thing I'm shielded. Okay. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hit. Good damage, and... Ah. Okay. Oh, so you can fire that off separately? Okay. Interesting. Just, when are you going to fire off your Wither Skull projectile? Okay, now you are. It's doing a pretty high amount of shield damage, too. Come on. Ah. Uh, let's get a bit closer there. I'll need to... Oh, oh, and that totally missed me. That's funny. Come on. Draw me some blaze rods. I am begging you. Okay. Come on. Come on. One or two more should do it. One or two more should do it. Uh, okay. Well, alright. Let's put... 
this in our slots. I want to find a way to... Honestly, maybe I should have just gotten evaporate. <laughs> then I could slowly evaporate literally every bit of lava underneath it. But as of now, it does not appear that such a simple way of doing things will be available to me. How sad. Come on. It's just... Oh, goodness. I should keep my shield up. Oh, but it blew up that... Blew up the dirt. Okay. Weird. It's just... How should I? How am I supposed to fight this guy? Can I even lure you somewhere, or...? Can I lure you? Oh, what I can do is... I can pull you onto land. That's right. I'm so dumb. Okay, let's... Pull. Amplify. Amplify that pull. And then... Snare. And for now, see if I can cast that. I can. That costs a truly heroic amount of mana. But yeah. I feel so dumb for not having done this already. All I need to do is get in a clean shot and bring this blaze onto land. I have so many tools with Ars Nouveau. I'm so dumb for not actually using them. Well, that missed. Okay, so we gotta wait. Gotta wait now. Oh. So we have enough mana that it will stay still. Stay still. Mm -mm. Got our mana now. Should be able to... What? That... That is... Yeah, that's pull. That not hit, or... Is it too far away, or... This is... Strange. Come on. Yeah, it's just... Not too far away to affect it. Too far away to get a clean shot, maybe. <sighs> I need to hit this blaze. I need to hit this blaze. It's just... Why are you over there? You've gone too far for me to even see. You're at a render distance, my good fellow. Okay, well... You know what? That's another way for you to get on a land. I don't entirely hate that. What? No, 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 no! Oh! I'm stupid! What happened? Oh, I was jumping around and I jumped myself off off the platform I was on and fell in lava. Yikes. Yeah. That's life. It's a good song. It's alright. You never heard that song. I've heard that song. The We're one. thinking of different songs. I was thinking of the Sinatra one. Well, that's what happens when someone falls in lava, I guess. Uh, let's not make that mistake again. But I probably will. I just need... I need two blaze rods. I need two blaze rods. That guy had better drop blaze rods. So many things are riding on him dropping blaze rods right now. So I assume that the plant was watered. Good luck with that, by the way. Send picks. Well, the ideal is going to be to find a way to pull that blaze onto land. Then once that's done, honestly, I should just... Go into snare, get rid of some of those amplifies, one of those, and then put in snare. Keep that still. Okay. To super jump. Oh, no. No. You are not touching me. Okay. 
Oh, please. I can't do anything to you. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Tom, die. Die. It broke my helmet. Those enemies are downright unfair. Okay. Again? Just can't do anything in these forests. Because it's just... I don't have enough armor to... What the hell? It's just... What can I even do to... Yeah, and it sucked, because... The only good AoE in this mod is Ars Nouveau. It's the magic mod, which is locked behind... Level 2 stuff in that mod is locked behind getting blaze rods. So until I find some blaze rods, I don't have any AoE. Once I get a blaze rod, I'm probably going to hop off. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit early. Well, that's kind of the point. Why? You're getting frustrated? No, it's more that other people will get frustrated. Why? Well, because... You don't hop off early because you, th you don't think whatever you're doing is not going to be entertaining. No, no, I mean my sister will raise hell. For what? For doing things past 11 p.m., which might keep her awake. Well, you don't have to talk. Right. Well, in that case, I would want to hop off because I wouldn't want to do stuff in silence unless absolutely necessary. I mean, you, you're you more than free to, like, even if I'm not on, just tell me to boot up the server if you want to get on and grind some stuff. That's fair, but... I feel like... I have to be, like, you know... Oh, I know. Actually... I recommend doing that when you want to do something that, like this kind of stuff, where you're just planning on doing it on your own anyways. Okay. Well, I mean, I would have gone into the nether with you if you wanted to go. It's just... No, I did Okay. Well, I'm glad that the bugs, glad that the bugs had a good time drinking my blood, because I sure didn't like it. Actually, no, I'm not glad. I hate those bugs. Frankly, I wish my blood tasted terrible so they would stop trying to drink it. But that's neither here nor there. I need to get to the right direction and kill. Kill that blaze. Kill that blaze there. No. I mean, I have no problem with you doing stuff on your own. Because you are the server I owner. do stuff. I do stuff on my own all the time. And it's our server. Sure, my name's on it and I use my computer to run it, but... Yeah. That doesn't mean that it is my server alone. Fair. All right. But to a certain extent, I do feel like it's kind of a balanced thing. Because I've done my own research into some of these mods. So you having at least partial privilege to go on and mine and get resources on your own helps balance that out a little, I would say. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. In the end, I don't want to be too burdensome. So... You're not going to be a burden by asking me to... Okay. Because if the answer's no, if what? I'm just not able to do it... How'd that... If the answer's no, then the answer's no, okay. right? Understandable. Uh, I got point blanked by that imp bomb. Iron armor is not enough for the nether. Okay. I mean, and to be fair, the only reason I'm here is... To get... Oh, good god. Not another one of those skeletons and coming out of the ground stopped me? No, seriously. That's some pretty ridiculous aim there. Yeah. I'm not sure if you saw that guy already, but I think you'll probably know that those guys are quite literally just ripped straight from Elden Ring, which I find pretty funny. They slow you down while they're latched, too. It sucks so bad. <sighs> Come on. I don't even care all that much. You can't... 
Super jump doesn't even send you that far. Come on. Just out of the way. Glide, glide, glide. Stay away from those guys. Got pretty crazy air superiority too. I do not like that. Flying speed is truly remarkable. I'll say that. Ah, get out of my life. Get out of my hair. Get out of my life. Die. Die already. Oh, please. God damn it. Everything I have is just burning up. Don't have a good way to deal with those things. Frankly, there isn't a good way to deal with those things. I feel like it's fundamentally wrong-headed for them to balance all, to just scale all enemy HP, every single enemy's HP up by a truly stupid amount. Yeah, if only I was able to take them with me. Sadly, none of them followed me into the lava. Because pretty much enemy has, has had their HP quadrupled to compensate for the fact that the mod pack is quote-unquote supposed to be hard and the fact that it's, you know, you're supposed to use epic fight. But there are a number of enemies like that that no sell empty that no sell epic fight and regardless still have their HP significantly increased. It just feels like a few wires got crossed there somewhere along the way. Come on. Uh, die already. Just <sighs> how are you doing? What are you up to? What? What the hell? I'm attempting to okay modify my tower in a way. Death attack is zero point five. What a well-made oh, mod. <sighs> um. I'm just trying to carve out a space for my, um... Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's... It's a mod pack rather than just one mod, so... It's not just an interaction thing. It's literally just a matter of some of the mods being good and some of them being kind of mid. <laughs> oh. One of the mosquitoes got killed by... That wither fog attack. That's fun. Okay, well... Come on. Let's actually just shoot that mosquito. Or not shoot it. What? Oh, good god. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, get away from me. Why is your damage so high? Why is your everything so overtuned? <sighs> Tika Atlas, we are in the right direction. All I need to do is find that blaze again, lure it to somewhere that I can kill it, where it will not drop whatever it drops into lava. Go away! <sighs> Spawn everywhere. I hear him. I hear him. Don't like that. How did I... Okay. Did I not have enough mana, or did the server bug out, or... <sighs> server has not bugged out. Okay, just checking. Should be one of those blazes over there, and it had better drop a blazer rod. Okay, so... Getting close to those spikes from before. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, once I get that blaze rod, God willing, it's gonna go mine for some more diamonds. Yeah. Oh well. I think I see blazes over there, maybe. Crimson skeleton. And what? Okay. Come on. Well, that was some kind of. Maybe. Oh, well, that's the guy. We have our guy. Okay. Come on. 
the depths. Oh, die, die, die. I got so close and then a random mosquito came out of nowhere and killed me. Yep. You know, I will say, for as much as much as I hate fighting them and hate seeing them, it is very much in character for mosquitoes to arguably the, be the most annoying mob, mob in the pack. <laughs> it's... Yep. Very, yeah, exactly. And the worst part is, is that it was on land and it very plainly would have been an easy kill if I actually just... Got up close to the thing, but then Mosquito said, ha ha, funny, how about I kill you? Yeah. It's just... And the thing about the nether is just... You can't really do anything to stop mob spawns in the nether. You know, it's... The most you can sometimes do is... Make really small rooms that are at least too small for gas to spawn in, but that's about it my armor's starting to break yay well i mean it's already broken but yeah and frankly mining hasn't been unrewarding it's just there's so much it's locked behind just that one spellbook upgrade one measly spellbook upgrade but once i get that hopefully so much will open up to me. Thank you for your support, at least. <laughs> okay. It's just... Uh, okay, and this is more or less where I was before. Once I hear... Hear the blaze making noise. I think this is where I was. And this is where I was. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let's see. Well, we don't need to get that in case we get withered. Where is that blaze? If it actually despawned after all this time, I may... Go sicko mode? I may eat one of my own fingers or something. I don't know. Go goblin mode? Yeah, I might go goblin mode. I'll, I'll announce my intention to go goblin mode. And my last piece of armor broke. Okay. Die, die, die. Oh my goodness. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. Oh, good god. Again! Again with the mosquito. Okay. If... Pardon me for laughing, but I'm sorry. The, the fucking mosquitoes being your biggest op is kind of hilarious. No, it's hilarious. Those mosquitoes are some legitimate shooters, and I mean that in a literal sense, too. Their, their spit attack deals an annoying amount of damage for something that comes out so fast with no telegraphing. I mean, and it's interesting, because the mod pack is usually good about that. You know, because if you want a proper Souls-like experience, it can, to compensate for enemies hitting hard and player attacks being slower... And more commitment based than in a lot of games. Enemy attacks need to be pretty well telegraphed so that you can get out of the way or dodge or block with a decent time frame. And for what it's worth, the, the mod pack is usually pretty good at it. You know, they they did, from what I hear, what I've heard, put in a lot of work to make a lot of mobs that don't work with Epic Fight at base work with Epic Fight. In the specific sense of adding tells to their attacks where none prior existed. And I like that a lot, and I respect that effort, even if, frankly, a lot of the balance is a bit off. But those mosquitoes just having a frame one spit. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've killed and squished a few mosquitoes in my life. They're probably avenging their fallen brethren. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe they just hate me because they think I'm cringe. Honestly, I can't disagree. Okay. Let's go over. Figure out where that blaze was. Last time. Pray to the heavens that it hasn't despawned since. 
And then hopefully kill the darn thing. Oh, this is where I were. This is where I was before. This is where I was before. Where is that? Where is? Come on. So it was somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. This pillar's over there, but is that something is burning? And it was around here, but it. No, it didn't despawn. It didn't despawn. But a skilled mosquito, a skilled mosquito, what, what, you're kidding. <laughs> Elite mosquito. What? <laughs> Dude, that sounds like a default Pop Tropica name. Elite mosquito. Skilled mosquito. <laughs> skilled mosquito. Oh, I've been... Every time I've died, I've been dropping more and more of my arrows. Oh. Leveled up and gained new skills. Yeah. It killed me and got got experience for killing me. Killed an elite mob and got a rare drop or something. Who knows? Well, okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I will return to where I was before. And so the blaze did not despawn. That is the most important thing, honestly. That whether it can or can despawn, it didn't. So. Oh my goodness. More of these bastards. Just die already. Get the idea. How many of you are even... Okay, so two hits with a greatsword at least does it, but it's just... I need to be actually able to get those hits in. Oh, and I've been dropping more and more of my steak, too. I started with 40, and I didn't eat a single one, and now I have one steak left. Okay. You know, this is why I make mushroom stew, because mushroom stew does not and cannot drop on death. Oh, really? That's part of it, yeah. I did not know that. Yep. Okay. Because every other kind of food will liberally drop on death. Oh my. Liberally drop on death. What did you call me? Oh, fucking Christ. What happened? Be real. <laughs> uh, you know exactly what you told me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Exactly what you did. Oh my goodness. Another, another one of these guys. Get out of my life! Another one of you- Okay, come on. I need to aim with my crosshairs. In my sights, in my sights. Get over here. Okay, die. Okay. Got... My steak. Ah. Ah. It's just... Blaze is over here somewhere. Blaze is over here somewhere, I know that much. Know the extent of my power. It's here last time. Should be here again. Once I kill it, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Should be it. Try to fireball me. Yep. Come on. Come on. Wither skull and die. Die and. What? 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 Oh, please. Die and what did you drop? Did you drop? Oh, you dropped a nether rod. And the wither ray killed me. But, but, we got. Wait, what? Did you even drop a blaze rod? Did you even. What? So much crap in my inventory that I can't even be sure what it dropped. If it dropped a blaze rod and then the blaze rod got blown up, I'm going to kill someone. Well, time to go back and check. I picked up something. I know that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to where I died. And hopefully there will be a blaze rod on the ground. That is what I'm hoping for because I just died to that wither ray. This has become an outright saga. The Dude, it has! The Vikings will speak of this one. 
They'll still chant of it. Yeah. Is it going to be a poetic Edda or a prose Edda? That's my real question. Yeah. But hopefully the trophy will still be there and I can go and get my trophy. Maybe. Praying. Praying. Dude, what are we doing here? Come on. Come on! What's happening with you? Well, I'm uh, currently attempting to redesign my oh, okay. little Don John. Of lard. Of lard. In fact, the very same. Wait. So In fact? Should be able to. Where did I die last? Did I die last? Wasn't up here. It was not up here. Okay, another another I, eigen I'm is here. Oh, the gold dropped from. Oh, because I never. Oh, that's kind of nasty. So I never took it out of the backpack. So it just. Okay. Okay. Should have been around here. I think. Oh come on. Well, if it dropped a blaze rod, I sure as heck did not get it. I think what might have happened is... Oh, good god. The skeleton demon might have picked it up and despawned or something. Now that was... Uh, I legitimately don't think that can happen. What? To pick up a, just a random mob drop? They pick up weapons. Another right monstrosity. Oh, okay. No, no. I know zombies in particular can pick up literally anything. It's so obnoxious. Yeah. They can pick up literally anything. But it's just, that's some bullshit because there are so many things in this mod pack that are basically mandatory occupied inventory slots. And just to lose stuff that quickly and easily and freely. Well, maybe it dropped a blaze rod and maybe it didn't, and the world will never know. That was one hell of an anticlimax. Okay, well, it might have despawned then. Just not sure what it even dropped, because I didn't get any kind of gem from it. This is what I had before, so I'm... I'm gonna have to go back and review, review some old footage, but... To get camped so hard by mosquitoes and mobs and lose all that it would not even surprise me at this point it would not even surprise me at this point uh, you know maybe some small comfort but maybe i got something clippable out of this we'll see uh, <laughs> it's all i live for at this point you know Weeping vines, hoglin loin, flint and steel, crimson fungus, block of gold. Uh -huh. That is life. It's just. Eventually, I want to find that Ignis mob. I want to make to make that ignitium armor and then many things will be made right with the world but until then i will continue crying me <laughs> uh, i think i'm just gonna have to go mine for some diamonds I'm gonna have to get a 15 26 diamonds for a set of armor, I guess. Yeah, 24, 24. And then probably make another greatsword too, but it's just... The annoying thing is really just that arrows drop on death. You can very quickly just lose all your arrows, but... Oh, we got... Stacks of mushrooms. I can make 63 more things of mushroom stew. I... 
I am God's plaything. I swear. At least torches don't drop. Okay. Well, you know, the children are currently yearning for the mines. Of course! I'm going to go back down and yearn for a little bit. <laughs> yearn. <laughs> Competitive yearning. Uh, yeah, the gods are bored, and they've decided to decided to spite me particularly. Hm. Glad that somewhere someone could be here to witness my misfortune at least. That's a uh, that's that's truly uh, a tale that I don't even think Herod could think of. I find it funny that you thought of Herod in particular. I don't know. It's a decent choice. Oh, we got one of those traitor goblins down there. I think I will go back and take my raw ore to give to him. And hopefully do a bit of ore doubling. But yeah, losing some of those gold blocks kind of sucked. That said, the only thing I need gold for is netherite anyway. So it's just, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. And this dumb and great sort is getting dangerously low on durability. That said, you know... It was a good decision to make, you know, because it, de it deals damage slowly but heavily. It's got the same durability or so as a diamond sword, so you get more damage out of it over its lifetime. It was a decision made entirely based on efficiency concerns. Let's just take that, take that, okay, and a couple of sticks just to maybe make another pickaxe. Sure. Okay. Then we got stone. What? what happened? Oh, one of those silver beasts got you? Yeah, he just rocked my world. <laughs> Ouch. I, res hey. I respect that. Netherite is hey. obnoxious, and one of the reasons that I've been so concerned about finding a so concerned about finding the spellbook thing is that one of the glyphs I can get is explosion, which would make it a lot easier to look for netherite by going in the nether underground just blowing stuff up. Mm. Yeah, and that's the idea. Let's just trade some of this. Oh, I could do that to convert coal into... Hmm. There we go. Convert rotten flesh into coal. You know what? I'll actually just... I'll do that. Convert my rotten flesh into coal. Still eternally. Well, I wish him luck then. I mean, if he's... in the nether instead of under the nether, that might be part of the problem. Because it only spawns under Y level 0 in the nether or something. I know that the best way to do it is to go underground and use beds or TNT to just blow things up because ancient debris is not really get hit. Let's see how much rotten flesh. I will just turn all of this rotten flesh into coal. I have no need for any of it. The only thing I can maybe do with it is turn it into leather in a refrigerator, and I don't really need leather. So, coal it is. Let's think of maybe making more torches eventually? Sure. Okay, come on. And if they are like wandering traders, then yeah, they will stop trading eventually. Did he disappear already, or just not far down enough? He might have disappeared. I hope not. <sighs> he disappeared. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. We are just going to go down and keep mining. Soon as I go back up and get all of my rotten flesh. He says, you know what? I'm tired of existing. Time to vanish. Oh, wow. Two by one. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. So is he branch mining or just going off in a specific direction? Because hmm. I don't know how veins of ancient debris even spawn. If they really spawn in veins at all. So that goes off on one side, and yep, this is a side we have not really 
done stuff on yet. Okay. And it's 12 or so before we have to place another, I'm pretty sure. That said, I think... I think they might have changed up. Oh, nice! Deep Slate Domidor. That's some good luck. Okay. Let's put this back in the backpack until we find another. Well, you know, good luck to compensate for that awful bad luck I had before. Possibly losing blaze rods. Oh my goodness. Uh, and we got... We want 24 or so in the end. Yes. You know, if I can say one thing, what? these, this, um, More? me just working on my base has given this chunk ample amount of time to just stay here so that my, uh, my, um, source oh, just and all of that just up. continue generating. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's cool. Like I've got a, I've, I think I've got almost two full cases now, or oh, one that's seventy-two okay. percent, one that's fully Seven, full. Okay, so I'm getting more iron now than I'm actually going out and mining. I mean, which makes sense, and it's what happened last time I mined, but it's still nice. Snuck back up on iron, but that said, the goal is to get enough diamonds to make a full set of diamonds and a great sword replacement, and we'll be free. Oh, you're on a shared server. Well, that's cool. I tried doing family Minecraft with my dad some years ago, and it stopped because I killed him once by dropping gravel on him as a joke, and then we just started killing each other, and we realized that the world was just irrevocably tainted. It was tainted when you well, guys decided to start a Minecraft server together. Elaborate on that. I want to know what that means. You know exactly what it means. I don't need to explain it. No, no, I think you need to explain it. <laughs> because I honestly do not understand what you mean by that. I'm saying that if you put years, yourself and your dad in the same Minecraft server together, it was already gonna go bad. It, it was more than I was 12 at the time. Even more so. I don't think I would repeat that mistake today. Probably. No, I think you would. Uh, I don't think I would. I haven't, no, I, think you would. I haven't I have not tried to start a war with you yet. It's been close. <laughs> well, you know, you said it not me. Uh yep. Yep. Yeah. Dude, this offhand I can't wait until we get the ability to use magic in our offhand without any Five. dumb message. Yeah, we do plan, once we've killed every boss in the mod pack, to maybe invite some other people on, and whether we do or don't, we're going to start killing each other. So you have that to look forward to. We'll see how it works that out. That will be a fateful day. It will be. It might even be multiple. Depending on how long it takes for us to get tired of it. Come on, come on. Let's back up. Oh my goodness, more redstone ore. You know, it'd be nice if I had more use for redstone, but whatever. Because I'm pretty sure that Create doesn't even use redstone. I think it just uses zinc. Hmm. Nice thing is that I can actually make... I could make a pickaxe if I wanted to. Could do that. Could make a couple of pickaxes, actually. Goblins and dungeons. But I do have some plans on what to unleash upon Larry once we inevitably come to blows. I am nothing if not a plotter. No, better no griefing, though. Well, if we're already going to be killing each other, that's basically going to be the end of the server. Yeah, but I, built, I worked so hard to build it. Yeah, well... Oh, maybe. Oh, I'll probably... I might have a different opinion when it actually... I mean, in the it. end, you could just use this claim box. And I wouldn't be able to blow your stuff up. Oh, yeah. But that said, it would... kind of negate war to just be able to hide out. So we'll see. We'll make our Geneva Conventions. Which means I'm gonna have to name one of these teleport waypoints Geneva, Switzerland. 
But the Geneva... Oh, yeah, I guess it was... Yeah, they were made... There was a Geneva Convention in Switzerland where they agreed upon the laws of war. I wonder where they had the one where they agreed upon upon the laws of love. That's probably in Rome. Maybe. I think you're biased. Yeah, because I didn't want to say Paris, the city of love. Fuck off. Or anywhere in France, really. Paris is the city of love, just like the Cowboys are America's NFL team. I didn't even know that people Dude, said the Cowboys were America's the, NFL that's, team. Man, it's the Ameri it's, 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 and uh, that's the tagline of the Cowboys, America's team. Aren't all it's just a marketing thing. They're all in America. I was going to say, not a single, ev no. every single one of them is definitionally America's team. Yes. <laughs> But no, that's America's team. If you don't know who to root for, root for the Cowboys. Oh my no. Goodness. Everyone hates the Cowboys. People would rather see Taylor Swift actually join the NFL <coughs> and win a ring on her own than the Cowboys win anything. Oh my goodness. Except for Cowboys fans. I thought you were going to say even Cowboys fans. No, Cowboys fans love their okay. franchise. It's like being a fan of the Mets. <laughs> yeah. I think I told you just about pointless. What one of the one of the songs on the Strokes' new album was called "Ode to the Mets," and it wasn't even about. I baseball. love that song. It, yeah, it's I not even it. about baseball. No, it's not. It's just about being in love with something pointless that will always disappoint you. Over oh, you play modded. Do you use a specific mod pack or a custom one? Because I recognize Twilight Forest, and I assume Moon would be Galacticraft Moon, or what version, too? Hmm. Oh, wow. And wait, so... So you have some kind of additional mod? That links dimensions together, too? Because... I know that some people have made mods that make it so that it removes the bedrock layer and makes it so dropping the void puts you into the nether. Oh, wow. So is there a specific order that you've linked them together in, or is it just a vibes thing? Because I mean, honestly, it's the kind of thing you can even randomize if you wanted to. Drop down and just sends you somewhere else. Oh my goodness. What I should have done is use a torch for this, but... Didn't have the foresight there. Oh, okay. So is in when you go into the void, it just sends you into a random different dimension, or how does that work? Yeah, let's put a torch down here. Then there we go. Okay, gravel. Put that down. Break that. Yes. <coughs> what? Did you sneeze, or...? I just coughed. Okay, same difference, really. You just made a curious noise. Oh, okay. okay. Interesting. So is it completely random, or are there relative odds? Can it send you to the end, too? Because I imagine that might break progression. Well, time to make another iron pickaxe, I guess. We found six diamonds, but we haven't found any since. Okay. I mean, I can't afford to get my hopes up too high, but still. Let's just... Do we have a... Yeah. Ooh, alright, so I made a cool little outcropping, I guess. Outcropping. For my, uh... So does it usually just kill the you? The tower. Okay. And what about it? Well, now that it now it just looks like nice. Oh, nice. So is that somewhere you're putting the? That's where I'm gonna be putting. It. Basically, now it looks like like I'm gonna have be able to have a library my library in oh, my okay. tower, but it's not um not gonna look weird. Okay. So even you... though it's technically not. So you basically made a little enchanting balcony. Almost, That's yeah. Fun. Okay, the end. Okay, that makes more sense. That is cool. Oh, more diamonds! Yay! Okay. Lucky me. Oh, deep slate zinc ore. Okay. 
Should be able to get with it. Iron, yeah. Okay, so it's not platinum. Hard to tell, honestly. I feel like I should start actually trying to figure out what to do with create. That's a good idea. You can make an automated tree farm, among other things. Was it you? Yeah. Did he kill the dragon to get out, or what did he do? Rest in peace, I guess. Uh, My library will go there. Come on. Come on. And then I can just do Let's this. this okay. Out. Yeah. Oh, but the bowl's... Oh, I had to drop the bowl because my inventory was full. Okay. That's funny. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Interesting. Which ones? Because I know that this mod pack has some end improvement mods. Quote-unquote improvement, honestly. But some diamonds. How many are we going to get? We're going to get... Okay, it was a vein of two. It's better than none, but... Come on. Two and then, yep, eight diamonds in there. Um, do oak bookshelves count differently than spruce bookshelves no, for the all, purpose of... all standard bookshelves share the same limit. Damn. Well, that's... Sorry about that. What mod do you use for... Weapons? Do you use Epic Fight too? Because I know that Epic Fight adds a great sword. I mean, other things might, but... I'm wondering. Because I know there are other combat overhaul mods... There was one that added sort of, I wouldn't really say RPG, but sort of more weapon-like magic in that, you know, there were wands you could craft that use runes as ammunition, kind of like arrows. It was, I could send you that one, Larry. It might be the kind of thing you might be interested in. What are you talking about? Oh, there was some other, there was some combat overhaul mod I saw that added wands and staves as a form of magic. Not as spells you can create, but spells you could just craft and basically make as ammunition. It was a different approach than something like Ars Nouveau, for sure. Two end expansion mods. Oh, I, wow. But I, I don't know. I kind of like Ars Nouveau. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. More in that instance. It's more, it feels more like magic as opposed to just yeah. like, here's a like, fire gun. Fair. I, was not su I wasn't suggesting it as something we could add to the pack. Just No, no, no. No, it's a good yeah. idea. It's just, you know... Something like you might. Oh, energetic and better. Oh, okay. Fair. Oh. Huh. I think better end might be in this pack. I'm not sure. And. What version is that? Wait, let me see. You should actually come to this my house. something called End Remastered to check it out. I'll teleport yeah, back up. Better. Right before I hop off, just to see. But I think it's looking pretty good. I will mine until I can no longer mine. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, also, I wanted to say that I'm playing around with a bit of plunge stuff now that Cloud Retainer is out, and I think I'll be actually using a Zhao team in Abyss for the first time in ever, really. So that's exciting, at least for me. Because I've had him leveled, and his talents leveled up decently for a few years, and I even made him a Vermilion Hereafter set some time ago, but, you know, it took me a while to get C6 Farzan, and... You know, even after that, I didn't have her leveled, so, you know, because I had to get artifacts, talent books. You know, I have the boss material she needs right now, but I haven't leveled her. But in a few weeks, when I hop on, I think I'll be using a Zhao, Furina, Cloud Retainer, Farazan team for Abyss. We'll Do my boy well. I will. I remember I creating, like, a really cool build for him. Or not even really cool. I, I just remember finally getting all of the artifacts that I was oh, satisfied okay. with. Okay. That makes sense. Because there were so much, it, it took so long. I remember the, awful, that man. you quit right before they added his kind of signature artifact set. They added a new artifact. No, 
I completed it and was awesome. Then they added his new artifact set. No, I mean, yeah, exactly. They added Vermilion basically when you quit. No, I ended up staying on and getting a full Vermilion set instead because it was just like I think by calculations they were it was like six percent better. But he was the only character. And the set I already it. had. But it's it was like you know what it's my favorite character. Six percent is kind of a lot. Well, a lot of it is also right. that those other pieces, you could just reuse them for other characters. That's what I've done when I've had to remake a set for a given character. But that's just me. I don't know if I ended up reusing it for... I, I, You know what? I bet I did. Well, I mean... I just forget. Given that you quit... Oh, the animo, the animo damage, obviously. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd save it for a rainy yeah. day, I guess. I mean, but... Given that you quit basically around the time that Vermilion came out, I mean... The thing about it is, who else would you put it on? Because Kaza wants Elemental Mastery. I know you had Kaza in terms of Animo, but aside from that, don't really remember. Let's see, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, come on, 10, oh, I could have put a torch down, whatever, 10, 10. 11, okay, 12, 13, and it sounds like a pretty fun pack either way. That's cool. I'm glad you all have fun. Okay, let me see. Let me clear this back up, put this deep slate back in, as frankly, I just want a way to get rid of it. Okay. Come on, come on. Diamond armor, conventional make netherite armor, and then I will. Frankly, I should just kind of do some suicide runs into those bastion remnants to get scraps combined with the gold I have. And then I can make netherite decently easily, honestly. And then it's just... I need to figure out how and where I could find that Ignis, that mob... Uh, okay. Can make another pickaxe. Okay. So this iron pickaxe is gone too. I think I'll make my departure. Oh, wow. So was that something you as a group decided to do? Or something that the mods in your pack changed already? Either way, did you consider it that overpowered? Fair, I guess. Or was it a way to sort of encourage going to bash and stuff? Oh, okay. So in other words, he agreed to something and regretted agreeing to it later. He was forced to... Yeah, him sowing versus him reaping. Okay. Come on, come on. Yeah. Sounds about right. It's very human. Come on. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I want diamonds. The nice thing is, is that... You know, these tunnels get awfully long, but now that I've got my warp stone, I never need to actually go back. I can just teleport back and start a different tunnel at a closer location. That's funny. And he hasn't found a single piece of debris. That must suck, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, nothing to do but continue mining. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he did find something. That's good. So he's, has he made some armor yet, then? Do you have any kind of keep inventory or player corpse thing on? Because the mod pack, this mod pack, Dawncraft, does not have sort of full keep inventory, but it's something relatively close. It's not so done. nice. It really is. I'm glad I'm glad we don't drop tools, but dropping food, not named mushroom stew, and dropping other stuff isn't exactly great either. That's good. Because it is just... Wait, are you talking about scraps or talking about ingots? Because that makes a big difference, because it is... It's four or so scraps for one ingot, right? 
Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So it just stays there. So it doesn't respawn. I mean, it doesn't despawn. That's good. Uh, come on. Deep slate, deep slate, deep slate. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, now, I don't really know what to do on this. Do on what? My third floor. Oh, I know I want to build another portal here, but I don't know if oh, I want okay. to. So, some gravel is over there. Oh, okay. But it does mean that you know, once you actually get there, you can just grab it again. Things could be somewhat worse. Gotta look on the bright side and all. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Come on. So much gravel. Some of it is wow, to flip. This Some definitely it is deserves to be down where it's Oh, and so much of the deep slate is just so much in my inventory that's actually filled up. Oh my goodness. It's downright masochistic. Okay. I mean, can you at least still find one using an eye vendor? I would hope. You'd still have to do what, a bunch of strongholds? Fighting. Yeah, yeah, because they lowered stronghold spawning odds, apparently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <sighs> Come on. Nine. Ten. Ten. Oh my goodness. But do they still spawn in rings like in vanilla or is it just totally random? Oh my goodness. You're made of stronger stuff than me. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, that is more or less what I expected here. Not happy about that. I mean, that said, you know, I'm not the one who has to play on the server, so, you know, what should I care, but... Human sympathy, I guess. Well, alright. If this iron pit gets a little closer to breaking, I will abscond. Check out your little base. My little base. Okay. I meant that affectionately. Nah. Don't get it twisted. I don't know, chat. Did you think that was a twisted way to say it? Uh, okay. I do. Next time I see you, I'll summon my wolves. Please do. Please okay. do. Okay. Just needless. Okay. There may be a need. The need may present itself. Stronghold. Okay. Yeah, I'm just taking a look at my handiwork. And is yours person who lost a greatsword. And so netherite, stronghold, what about the others? Well, there, oh, yeah. Tragically predictable. Time to go back. I am going to go to your house. Yay! <laughs> Wolves. Oh, spiral staircase. That's cool. Uh, and you went up. Hello. Hello! Now look at this. Here's where I shall have my library. Okay. Don't summon. Why'd you summon the wolves? Well. You didn't, you didn't have to summon the wolves. I felt like it. Wow, and now you blocked me off. How kind of you. Okay, well... Please do not... No, 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 Just come back down on the other side of the base. Okay. You can leave the wolves up there. Oh, battle tower. Oh, then that definitely... That definitely hurts. Oh, and you made a little fence window. Oh, no, that's just an actual window. Yeah, that's just what glass panes look like, unfortunately. Okay. It's not so bad. Well, glass blocks you can cut. 
Oh, oh. In the stone cutter, you just can't do it with this. Oh, interesting. Hello. So, you're a dick. Yes. Oh, now I'm bleeding. Um. Just kill the other wolves. Sorry, sorry I'm, try I'm trying to be a pacifist. No, you're not sorry. It's okay, though. <laughs> Legendary. Oh, so what kind of enchantments did it have? So do you have apotheosis too? My well, no. So look at this. Look at this, right? Okay. So you come up here. All right. And we're all chilling. You got this little little yeah. setup. Right? If you go up so, here, this is where I'm gonna have my library. Oh, I'm gonna actually put the library block right there. Oh. Um, and then I'm gonna go up here, and then I have this space. Oh, so you made so a now. Way. Yeah, now I can actually put all of the bookcases around so it. So it's kind of like a little bump on the tower. I actually like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like a little outcropping. Yeah, Thank you, Cardley. It, it's very, very interesting. It gives it a bit of flair. Thank you very much. You know, I feel, I feel it was like, it's almost like a beauty mark. Mm -hmm. It's a little skin tag, you know? Well, okay. Shut up. Okay, well... Just gonna super jump up and I'm gonna check out that skin tech. Oh, nice. So, do you have any limits on how much you can level things up in Apotheosis? Because this mod caps a lot of the enchantments pretty low. For example, sharpness, you can only get up to nine. And that's only with Quark. Only? Yeah. Because you have to get a 9, you have to get a sharpness tone too. Well, I am just going to go back to my house now. And I think that's going to be it for tonight for me. All Next right. time I'm on... I guess I'll do some more mining. Then maybe we'd go kill the skeleton lord or something. Maybe. I don't know. No, I'm it, don't worry. I know that I am going to go pop in a creative. Test out a bunch of different weapons. Come back and enchant it. So what's the map's... Can you give me the seed so I can maybe go look in the nether for fortresses so I know where I need to go looking? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll copy oh, paste our okay. seed in our DMs, all right. Makes sense. Thank you. Well, I will be hopping off now. Thank you to everyone who watched and everyone who didn't and everyone who streamed with me. So, yeah, sign a to everyone. Good night. Peace. Yeah.